Hello friends, welcome back. You're welcome, welcome to this wonderful experience in History Makers Training, November 2018. Themed the undiscovered power of conversion with Dr. Sunday Adilaja here live in Kiev, Ukraine. My name is Anu Ojo and I'm welcoming all of you watching us on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm sure it has been a full day for you if you've been watching us right from the first session with Dr. Bosse uh, Adelaja up until um, the last session with Dr. Success. And right now we're about to begin another session with Dr. Sunday. So please, as you join us, I would like to encourage you to uh, share this link to your friends, uh, share it to your families, share it to your enemies also. I'm sure they're going to love it. I mean, they, they might even become your friends, you know, after sharing it with them. So please share, share, share. It's going to be very, very enlightening. You know, Dr. Sunday particularly told us that we have to get ourselves braced up for this evening session. So uh, I believe the delegates here are already braced and you are ready for today's session. Uh, I'm going to be announcing the books that we are uh, reading this HMT so you also can get the books and also prepare uh, read and get yourself in that environment, in that, that atmosphere. So the first book is Raising the Next Generation of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Raising the Next Generation of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. All right. And then the next one is No One is Better Than You. No One is Better Than You. The other one is The Veritable Source of Energy the veritable source of energy. And then we are also reading, discover the source of your latent energy. Discover the source of your latent energy. And the last one is, create your own net worth. Create your own net worth. So you could get all of these books and um, other of DSA's books uh, by subscribing to Amazon Kindle Unlimited. By, by doing that, you get access to I mean, the vast majority of Dr. Sunday's books. Uh, if you would like to order for one copy or two copies, you could do that by um, ordering on Amazon or, or Kada Books. Uh, and also, if you like to buy the book in bulk or you want to be a distributor and make some money from it, well, you can. Uh, you just write to us at DSA's Books at gmail.com dsa's books at gmail.com and then we continue our correspondence all right so guys i want to believe you sh you've shared the link i want to believe that you're ready well we here we are ready dr sunday is ready and at this point i would like to introduce to you dr sunday a day larger good evening sir well i'm going to put you on the map now because all right. <laughs> because when you are introducing me, you don't always look to the end if I'm really ready or not. Otherwise, you'll be, <laughs> otherwise you'll be lying to the world and to, to me too. Because you see that I'm not ready now. I'm still just fixing my tele, my microphone. Normally, you do your thing until I you see that I finish the microphone. Do you see, in the morning, I I try to control myself and exercise some uh, hope and uh, yes, endurance and all those things. But now, since I know that it will never end, I better help myself. Latest, <laughs> <laughs> sir. I better help myself. Mm. All right. So, Luton, uh well, uh -huh. before Dr. Sunday gets ready, uh, I would like to uh, encourage you, if you would like to, uh, to register for January HMT, uh, you could do that by writing us at uh, HMT at GodEmbassy.org. So at, uh, write to us at hmt at godembassy.org for you to be able to register for the January HM, the January HMT. And um, Dr. Sunday oh, is ready. <laughs> well, she, she must be safe. Well, she, well, she's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> so, I think that is a lesson in me. <laughs> In, in looking around, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I think it's a lesson in looking around. All right. <laughs> okay, so guys, please just keep sharing, share, 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 
Um, let's get everybody on board. Let's get all of our friends on board. Let's get our families, let's get our pastors. You know, we've been having such an illuminating time. I mean, expository. We are seeing the Bible in a different light. It's like we've never read the Bible before. And then we begin to ask ourselves, I mean, what do we even do in church? Do we really even know God? Do we even understand life? But thank God for the opportunity to be here to learn from uh, Dr. Sunday, teaching us from the scriptures. And even with this next session, it's, he said it's going to be even deeper. And <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to be just this session. It's going to go... Uh, from this session for I don't know for how long for at least as long as we can assimilate it but uh, you are of you've always been here and you live here with me in the house every day and we try to talk every day you ask all kinds of questions especially when we go sport uh, doing sports and uh, so mm, you've had conver con about conversion and conversion I'm sure is one of your favorite topics and uh, so what will you say from your own perspective of somebody who is even here in Ukraine? Well, first, first thing I learned when I, when I started living with Dr. Sunday was that um, it's, it, it's a, it would be a huge disservice to anyone to think that they know or that they understand Dr. Sunday. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, the more you, the more you stay with him and the more you even asking questions, you you get you get some understanding, all right? That, okay, I, I think I know. But then, when all of a sudden they start teaching, you you just realize that I don't even know this man actually. I don't even know. I don't even know what he, <laughs> the depth of what is inside of him. I tell you, and um, and that's why I always tell him and I always say that if I my wishes could be fulfilled. Um, you would have a camera everywhere, on on record, <laughs> everywhere. Either, either he's in his bedroom, his toilet, in his bedroom, in his room. It's just on record. So just twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Just be teaching. Just be just be saying something. That <laughs> just be releasing. Yeah, because uh, you know there's so much. There's so much inside of the Sunday. Uh, so much, so much, and even on this subject of conversion, uh, I remember when he when he taught. I remember when he taught um, the series on Facebook, and I, I was I happened to be I think around around that time, and I was telling him that wow, I mean everything is about conversion. Oh wow, I now I get I get it, I get it. <laughs> conversion is everything, but then when we started HMT. I discovered that what is even online is is like it's just little mm -hmm. compared to what is being dished out mm -hmm. with this HMT. I mean, it's loaded. I was, I was, I'm, I mean, I'm, I was seated throughout the sessions, and I'm just thinking, wow. I, I mean, the, the, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's just a wow moment. It, wow, I mean, the scriptures, the way the scriptures come to life. Uh, you know, Dr. Sunday always says it that people always tell him that when he teaches, they always come and tell him, ah, is it the same Bible that we're reading? Like Joyce Meyer. Yeah, right? like, uh, yeah like Joyce Meyer said that to him. How does it? Yeah, like, ah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is it the same Bible, you know? I thought, I thought I've read this before a couple of times, or I've read it many times, but... She even refused to go and preach. Yes. <laughs> she said so. Yeah. She said so. She said, I feel intimidated. Hmm. I cannot talk after you. Yeah. Where was that? In Australia. You know, I want to say this to our viewers. I've said this to many people on a, on a private note, but I want to say this on a public note. <laughs> All right. So please listen to me. Um, you know... Our, if you don't want to be a mentor or I mean a mentee to Dr. Sunday, there is no problem. Choose not to. I Even mean, if you want to hate him. Yeah, if you want to hate him, hate him. <laughs> if you want to say, if you don't want to associate with him, don't don't associate with him. If you want to say, this man, I don't know him, I, I don't like him, do everything you want to do. But please, please, 
please don't deprive yourself of life mm. by not listening to his teachings mm. or reading his books. You can hate him. No. No. I mean, during, during our walks, we, we, I used to tell him, man, and he also confirms it, that there are two things that would make anybody in this world to listen to Dr. Sunday once and refuse to listen again. is either... God has given up on that person. <laughs> Elder, God, Elder God is saying, well, you, there's no hope for you. So don't listen again. Or that person hates himself. Mm. Or herself. Mm. And says, okay, I, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't like myself. I hate myself. Oh, wow. for, you to, for you to to encounter and listen to the Sunday once and then say, I don't want to listen to him again. Ah. So I, I mean, just like Dosen would say, I give, I am giving you the the opportunity not to like him or the privilege not to do so. But please follow the teachings. Mm. And the good thing about about it is that his teachings are free. Yeah. <laughs> and someone said this. Someone said this actually um, earlier during the HMT that Doctor Sunday, when he's announcing his books. He announces from the freest to the cheapest. But you guys might not understand it, but I'll explain to you. You know, when, <laughs> when, when he's announcing the books, and I also announce it like that, we start with, you can get the word, free. On Kindle Unlimited. So that shows that it's not about the money, you know. Get it free. Amazon will get your money, no problem. Or it, it comes to the, to the cheapest, which is, Write to us at DSA's books and you get it cheap and then you can even make it as your business. You can be a distributor. So Oh by the way, when uh, is it when I did my session today, I had so that there were so many comments. Is is my word there? You might need to go through the comments of my I think the last one I did before now. Sometime I spoke about book. And then they said there are a lot of people writing in the comments that they wanted to send you people to help them send books through people who are here. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But somebody had replied them just writing, write to DSA. But people will not get that. So you people will need to get in touch with them individually, go through all the comments, especially where our people are writing them back that write to DSA's books. But, you know, and write to their inbox in particular individually and tell them okay where are you and then find out how many they want you know just to individual contact with these people and uh, so uh, let's use the opportunity to tell people who are here too that if you are from any of these countries that people are here why not maybe you should try your luck maybe somebody will be able to take some few books for you if that's us uk france, france. france. ireland, ireland. Yeah. finland Sweden. Scotland, yeah. So those countries, uh, so a lot, especially US and UK, there are more people from those places. So yeah, maybe you'll be lucky enough to get somebody to bring some books for you. That it will be faster. It will even be cheaper than uh, if they would send it through uh, the, po the post to you. All right. Can I now? Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Anu. Thank you so much. Well, we're back. I hope you people <laughs> took advantage of my advice. <laughs> uh, you tried. <laughs> you will soon realize and understand why I had that request. <laughs> because you will need it. <laughs> Even if you couldn't sleep, at least make sure you, you take your chocolates or some vitamins or anything that will keep you alive. You don't want to sleep on this one. This one that is coming, you don't want to sleep. I bet you <laughs> I would need the active participation especially of the science students. Okay. So here we go. Hello everybody on YouTube, Facebook. Please let's go ahead and share the message. Go and put it in the inboxes of people. You might be giving them or doing to them the biggest service ever. 
Maybe it will be the greatest revolution of their Christian life. So, Father, in Jesus' name, come and teach us today. Amen. Open the eyes of your people. Amen. Minister to us. Amen. Live your life. Let your illumination come through us. Amen. Let your light explode in the mind and spirit of everybody everywhere. To the glory of the Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, I told you how many pages are here. Where would you pass that? Norway. Norway is like that. Somewhere pass that. Somewhere pass that. We can't see the number, right? No. No number. How many pages? How many are they? I wanted to show you 200 slides in this one alone. And I still have 20 something others. So I have to go fast. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> the slide I said for myself. <laughs> oh, let me see where we stopped. Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, I think we did this. We did this, right? Yeah, let's start from here. Einstein's law of thermodynamics. So it's Einstein's laws of thermodynamics, right? Energy, the first law is, there are three laws there, but this is the first law. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted. So, please, sir. If sped up fast enough, physical product or mass will first become heat and then become light. If it were to be sped up even faster, it would then become invincible. At the point of mass becoming invincible is the point where it has converted to energy. <laughs> Science students might be the advantage ones today mm -hmm. about this one. Maybe not. Maybe because some of us will go to school, but school didn't go through us. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I never studied science. I, I was in my, I, I, I studied in the Domila. It has a village, community high school, they call those things. <laughs> so no walls, no walls. Uh, just, you know, a room like this, no walls. And so no library, no labor laboratory. I never saw a laboratory in my life till today. I never read physics. I never read, you know, read chemistry and uh, all those science got no opportunity. But I developed myself over the years just through self-education to understand science and physics and mathematics so much that science students, even professors of science, physics and chemistry, they are telling me we are getting to know physics, understand physics thanks to you mm. and mathematics. So that is also because of self-education. And because of the Bible. I got my inspiration from the Bible. Wow. Yeah, it is the Bible that I saw mathematics. In fact, many people tell me that they began to see mathematics and physics and science in the Bible, thanks to Dr. Sander And I'm talking about professors who teach in the U.S. University science, mathematics, and physics. <coughs> so this one here, somebody, can you people tell me what law am I using right here? Right here? What is this law that I'm explaining here? Huh? Very good. The law of energy. And what is the formula? E equals MC squared. Aha. But now, now, you know, the French guy is saving all of you. <laughs> the French brother is saving all of you from blush. Oh. He's the only one who remembers <laughs> what law. And when I ask for science students, all of you raise up your hands. <laughs> but when it comes to practicality, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> because it is what matters about education, science or advancement, it is the it is the convertibility, the appl applicability of it. That's what I'm interested in. The one or the part of knowledge that could be applied. And that is why I'm attracted to this law of energy. But you'll hear more about it, right? But that's why you need to be alert, especially if you are not familiar with these things. But he understood what we are talking about. Okay, please go ahead. But we have read two or three paragraphs right now 
And I'm not sure all of you understood what we read. Oh. You understood it? Mba. Mba. No, yeah. You, not yet, right? Okay. So we have to, you, it will need understanding. Yes. I mean, it will need uh, explanation. Yeah. Okay. Can you go through it again, sir? Right. Okay. If sped up fast enough, physical product or mass will first become heat and then become light. If it were to be sped up even faster, it would then become invisible. At the point of mass becoming invisible is the point where it has converted to energy. All it takes for the visible to become invisible is a very high rate of speed. This is where we get the term the speed of light. light. Now, let me now take you back to where we have started this, which we had actually done earlier on, that will give you more understanding. Remember, this law, or this uh, stage of teaching started with light. this, light. light. Genesis 1-3. Remember light? Yes. Let there be light. Yes. Keep that in your mind. Yes. Yes. Right now. Say light. light. There is nothing more important in the world than light. Yes. Not in this teaching, and I'm not talking of the world in sense of uh, the earth. I'm talking about in the, the world in terms of universe. Nothing is more important in the universe than light. So when I told you about words, I said the most important word you should ever come at, or you should ever know is conversion. But when it comes to universe, nothing is more important than light. Remember that. And also remember one other thing. Light is the foundation of creation. And I don't know if Dr. Victor is still here. He spoke about one membrane, or what do you call it? Uh, Penean gland, one gland. And then he spoke about mel 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 melatonin. Mel melatonin. Mel yeah. Remember? Yeah, what? Melatonin. You know, remember all those things. All those things, I told him when he was explaining it, that the reason for the powerful exploitation that he was talking about in England is because there is something inside, I don't know if you know about it, light. They discover light in the brain system, in, in the blood system, in the DNA of my melatonin. there is light there. And that light, it, it's coming in forms of cross. But we'll get there. But just remember right now, when we're going to be talking about thermodynamics, just remember that light is at the root of everything. And light is the most important force in the universe, not just in the world, in the universe. So think about, I want, you to, I want to challenge you right now to think about light separately, differently. You know, I told you about light that it enables us to see. But now I'm going to take it to another dimension of light. I'm now going to be talking about light right now, not just as knowledge, not just as understanding or wisdom. I'm going to be talking as light, as light as the foundation of creation. That is the way. When that's why you are going to be hearing about light now. Be thinking about it from the point of view of the foundation of creation and as the most powerful force in the universe. Because from everything, I mean, in fact, everything you see right now is a product of light. Because once God said, let there be light, ah, it became the source of everything. So, because it was light that was the foundation that was released for us, every other thing that was created, even houses, is a result of light. 
Even trees is a result of light. Even everything is a result of light. As a matter of fact, if not for light, there will be nothing that will be possible to make. Everything that is created is existing because there is light in it. Even steel, even stones. Why? Because God made it like that initially. Science has, is just beginning to understand that now. And they are still confused where it comes from. But I know. Because we have the opportunity to read the Bible. Every other thing sprang and springs from that foundation. It's just like saying you are building a house and you pour cement. Every other thing stood on that, stands on that cement. Yeah. That's the way light. When God wanted to start everything, he spread light. Every other thing now springs from. Oh. I don't know if you are seeing what I'm saying. Yes, so that's why we started from there. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question, sir? Yes. So, which came first? Can you give, give him the microphone? Um, which of the two came first, light or time? No, no, no. That you want to you want to confuse them now, <laughs> because if you are going to that place, you are going to you are getting more technical. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting more technical. <laughs> okay, if you want to know the order, what comes first? I'm talking about uh, things we see now. Create, you know, but before the things we saw. That's where the guy is going. Before anything, there was time. Before, before light. But also, before light, there was something else also. Space. And it was then time and then matter. If you want the order. But time, I mean, no, did I say time and matter? I said light, I wanted to say light. So there is time, space, light, matter. But, you know, I don't want, if you want to go there, I will help put this aside first. <laughs> and I just, I just, maybe we don't make it too technical because we are going to confuse them, everybody now. <laughs> Let's just keep our lane right now. But I think I answered your question. Ah, okay. So how will you know that it was time that was number one? Well, I'm being tempted to answer this guy's question. God help me. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> Just remember this one about time. Let's go. Let me go forward. <laughs> anyway, we talk a lot about time already in the morning. So you have to connect it to what we are going to do now. What uh, you are doing? Two, second day, part three now, eh? Part two? No, part three. Part three, yeah, part three. Mm, it's part three. Okay. So, what is written here is so loaded. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask if... Is it clear enough for the audience, for the people uh, on YouTube, Facebook? Those words, are they yes. visible enough? Okay, good. I'm being tempted to explain what is here. But I think I'm going to control myself. But everything that you are seeing here, the secret of it is one word. Light. Even though it's like the theory of energy. But there is a role that light plays in energy that cannot be replaced, just like in every other thing. So... But remember, what you need to remember from this page is there are few things. But let me just do it like this. Let's come back to this. I'll go forward and come back to this. Let's, let, because I've explained it forward in the other slides. Then I'll come back to this later on. Yeah, go ahead, Henry. Einstein proved that mass, M, could be converted to energy. Okay, let me say, I think we have to start with this. Yeah, let's right. start with this. The law of relativity. relativity. The law of relativity. Or energy. Yeah. E equals mc squared. Uh -huh. Where E is energy, m is mass, and the c is Square. the speed of light. c squared is speed of light. Squared. 
Yeah. Light travels 186,000. So that speed of light, that C square, is 186,000. Wow. It's supposed to be one zero, yeah. We have yeah, we one have zero. one zero that is missing, yeah. yeah. One zero is missing. Sorry for that. One hundred and eighty six thousand miles per second, but is when it's squared, squared is times two. Yeah. That's speed of light, but speed of light times two is what we are talking about. So, so look at that uh, formula of Albert Einstein. Is E equals m c squared? That is the formula for energy. All right, we all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is he talking about? E is what? Energy. Energy. M is what? Mass. What is mass? Matter. 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 Okay, for substance. substance. Yeah. So for people who are not science students, it's object. Any object that has material body. So anything. It could be this, it could be this house, it could be this chair, it could be you or me. That's object. Anything that has body matter okay so m means mass object yeah square but that c is the speed of, speed of light c is light all right mm -hmm. but but it's not just light it's the equation for speed the speed that light travels you know there is a c speed of sound yeah. But uh, there, there is speed oh of light. light. <laughs> so we are talking about the speed of light now. But then, the, in this particular formula, because even Einstein didn't know what he's talking about. He just discovered it. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know the meaning of light and where it's coming from and the explanation for light. Mm -hmm. And science is still in a, in a limbo, limbo mm -hmm. about that too. Because they are not connecting it to Genesis that I just... Mm -hmm. That explains everything. Mm -hmm. They can just observe through laboratory and notice and see the fact. You know, science is just submitting to you the fact of what. But why? How? They don't know where that light comes from. Mm -hmm. The same thing with the gland that he was talking about. Yeah. All right. So, but you and I. Not that boom, Shana. Let me tell you this <laughs> what happened to your battery? Okay. What happened to the battery? This device. Mojito is a conscious cell boy. Said the battery was dead. Yeah, to the motion. Yeah, to the motion. Yeah, to the motion. Satan will be very nervous about this topic. I'm telling you the thing that science is always still struggling with. They still don't have answers. To. So that is the advantage we Christians have. Because we are able to study science, but also study the Bible. But the problem with our Christians is that they don't study the Bible to see the totality of creation and everything else. They are just studying the Bible to see religion. See the, where the problem is. So, because of that, we are not bringing it to life. We are not using that conversion and, uh, as a means of conversion. Maybe I should give you, maybe you should, okay, are you okay? You will be able to fix it? Mm -hmm. Or I should give you your own? Okay. So, this E equals MC square is energy that that the, the the interpretation is this for people who are not science students it means for you to get energy the secret of energy or how to derive energy the highest level of energy energy comes from that is sun is energy i mean that kind of energy i'm talking about light energy the electricity not just energy from so energy comes from that you will get this formula is saying you will get energy the highest level of energy if you 
You can hear? Okay, you will get energy and the highest level of energy. This actually formula is what is used for nuclear, nuclear stations and nuclear bombs, <coughs> nuclear energy. You know, one of the greatest and destructive, the most powerful energy. This is how they got it. And this energy, will, you know, you can get that level of energy, the highest form of energy, when any matter you take, when you speed it up. So if I take this matter, this mass, and speed it up, the more I speed it up, now you get back what we are talking about now. If sped up fast enough, now you see this way. If I speed it up fast enough, any physical product or mass, it will first become heated up, and then it will become heat. It will disappear. It will become heat or fire, fire. smoke, or energy. You know that's energy too. Fire, smoke, fire. It will become heat. And if you keep on eating it, it will become vapor. Vapor. It will, be, it will evaporate. It will become vapor. It will, okay? But then, if you keep on eating it, it will get to the speed. Because that heat we are talking about will turn to speed. It is the heating. It is energy. It is increasing it. It is the speed. You know, when you eat anything up, that is energy. It is increasing the energy. So, it's just like saying we have heating system here now. You know, that, this house is warm. This place, in fact, we have to open the window to get it a bit cold. But if you, if that is meant we are heating it up. So if you keep on eating it up, it will get to the speed of light. When you eat things up, you are increasing the speed. That is why we say minus when it, it's winter. Yeah. So if you go to the outside, it's minus. Mm. It's cold because the speed in the winter is reduced. So it is all manipulation of speed. That is how you get either energy or cold. Remember that. Mm -hmm. It is manipulation of speed. It is all depending on movement. That is the science be, be, be from, for doing ref refrigerator, air conditioner, uh, fridge, all those things. That is the science behind it. So the, way, the secret of creating uh, air conditioner or refrigerator or fridge is just to lower the normal temperature that you have lower the speed reduce the speed so if you take normal day like this that we have normal energy normal you have you know you have air and you, you, in the atmosphere and you have water as well mm -hmm. so that lowering of the of the temperature or the speed of your energy it will reduce the heat and the heat is being, becoming cold and cold. So first of all, you experience cold. Then later on, that cold will turn to ice. Yeah. Yeah. But that ice is not the end. If you keep on increase, decreasing the speed, yeah. it will turn to ice block. Yes. Yes. Then if you keep on doing it, it will turn to mass. Yeah. That is why you get your ice block. Those are mass. Yes. Or if you, the, the same thing. So, what we are talking about here, but if you do the opposite and increase the speed of energy, any energy, it will rather become that same ice you took. Just eat it up. Increase the speed. Mm -hmm. It will warm up again and become water. Yes. But if you keep on warming it up again, it will become mo moist. Uh, what is it? Moisture. Vapor. And va va vapor. Vapor. And then it's steam. Vapor. And then it will disappear into thin air. That's exactly what. But if you keep on, but that light is too. I mean, you know, like water and something like that is too light. So for to, for objects to keep on being heat, heat, uh, heated up, you need not just light products. Like this one cannot only produce light energy, small one. You need the purest mass and the strongest mass. So steel, for example, or iron for example or different the harder and the more uh contains the more the stronger the object is the more it can sustain the heat so yeah. to, yes so that it will go you keep on eating it to the level of the speed of light by the time you eat it 
to, but by the time it's getting to the speed of light, something will happen to that energy. You all the while, it is already energy. Even from now, from the time you put uh, any heat, it is already energy. If you pull your hand, it's already. But we are talking about real energy to produce, and you no know, a city or something. You need to keep on eating it up. That's why you needed water, hydro energy, because the water, the force yeah. of the water is it a dam mm -hmm. or something. Those things. So it's heat, it is increasing the, the speed. So, uh, but if you increase the speed and keep on increasing the speed, you can keep on increasing it to the speed of light. Mm -hmm. When you keep on heating it up to the speed of light, the energy becomes intense and you have a lot of energy. But wait now to, 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 what, to what I tell you it, the, about this theory. What is wonderful about that e, e equals m, mc square. When the, the, the reason why you have square there is that it, you get, that's, what, uh, that's why this guy became a genius. You get, you get the highest kind of energy. They used to have atomic energy. You know, all those speed of light, but they don't do E square. But he continued to do experiments. Einstein, until it heated speed of uh, light twice. You know, people are just getting satisfied when they get to the speed of light. Wow! Speed of sound, speed of light. Oh, but he kept on eating. He found material that could be kept on eating. So he kept on eating it in the, in the laboratory experiment. And when he discovered that when you keep on eating mass like that, good mass that are, that are sustainable, keep on letting it roll. You, be, you don't just get even more energy, but what he found, that's what made him the genius, is relativity. That's, called, it's, that's why it's called theory of relativity. Is that that mass, even the strongest of them, when it eats the speed of light square, it disappears. Now, this one also will disappear because it's a light, light object. You know, if you eat it, it just disappear. But this one, will, just out of the speed, so let's say you take iron, or this house, or anything, the whole of the creation that we have right now, you can roll them. Nothing, nothing is real when it gets to that level. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, everything is the whole earth. That's why you know they got uh, nuclear weapon. That's why they got the idea of nuclear weapon. It would destroy the whole world mm -hmm. because it's coming from that speed. That the whole idea of nuclear weapon that is sustained that speed in a incubator. Mm -hmm. So when it eats anything, any mass that it eats. It it is it it ceases as it, at that level. Not no object can exist. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? The energy that it releases destroys the whole world seven, a million times over. Because at that stage, by the time you speed up any object to get to the speed of light, square two times, it becomes invisible. Why? Because it becomes spirit force. And that is what they don't know. Yes. That's why for me it's very easy to prove to any oh. scientist the existence of God. Hmm. Because why does the object, any object will disappear? Because the source of light, by the time you speed off light twice, it goes back to the spirit where it comes. Oh. Ah! <laughs> where it's coming from source. and that's what source. source back to source and the source is what spirit disappear but but now when you now take that same object instead of heating it up or increasing the speed keep on increasing the speed you see, you people are now looking at me as if I'm the science student. Yes. <laughs> you people are now looking at me as if I'm the science student for me to be like. Even professors listen like that too. Don't worry. You are okay. <laughs> I'm talking about professors in nuclear physics. They still listen at me like this. <laughs> so, it, but by the time you now reverse the role, and that energy that is sped up and became this you know no object it disappears no object becomes but when you reverse the role and now begin to slow it down that is another experiment when you begin to slow down the speed and reduce it all of a sudden any 
object that is put lower than the speed of light becomes visible again. Yes. The reason why we are alive and the reason, and that explains to us that we are eternal. Yeah. Mm. That is why you needed pregnancy. Yeah. The reason why a woman needs to be pregnant for nine months is because the spirit of God, which is the child, every child, every one of us is a spirit. Yes. So the, when the conjunction happens, in the sperm of the man and the seed of the, uh, the egg of the woman, when it becomes embryo, what happens that God's spirit oh. is, it, it, it hits and becomes life. But it has to be in the incubator. Yes. Why do you need the incubator? The incubator is a form of air conditioner. Incubator. That is how they are able to create it. it is because if you, yes, because if you reduce the speed of light, if, I told you what happened when you increase it, it will disappear. But when you reduce it, God is spirit. It's coming like invisible. From the spirit time, you know it's visible. Yes. If you high spirit energy, yes. it's invisible. So God is living on that level. Yes. Angels are living on that level. Yes. So, but when you reduce the speed of the energy at which they function, the speed of light, it's all light. Yes. It's manipulation of light. When that light is reduced and confined, you know when it's increased, it goes invisibility. Yes. It becomes invisible to the yes. spirit realm. Yes. Now, when some, you want to take something from the spirit realm, to become physical, you just need to reduce the speed. Do the opposite. Yes. It, it could be angel. Mm -hmm. It could be man. It could, so what happens with a child bearing is what I want to explain yes. to you. So on how we came to the world. So God takes out from the spirit. God creates. That's why God's God. Before I, you are in your mother's womb, I knew you. Mm -hmm. While you were in your mother's womb, I already anointed you. Mm -hmm. Before you were known by God. God packaged you in heaven, but as a spirit body. Just like angel. Yeah, yeah. But when they are the inception, the spirit of God breathes and releases that spirit. Your, your man, your spirit yes, man. Yes. He, you are a spirit. That's why the Bible says we are spirit. We are nobody. Yeah. But for you to function on the earth, he's sending you on a mission already at the inception. Mm -hmm. But for you to function on the earth, if you are landed on the earth like that, you just be like angel. Nobody will see you. Yes. So you are irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So for you to be relevant on the earth, God needed to condense you. And what does <laughs> why do why, why why do you need the condensing? So the womb of a woman is the place where the speed is being reduced. Mm. So it is you know if it has been reduced just normally, you know it's because it's gradual. So at every level of the reduction of the speed, something is forming yeah. in a baby. Yeah. Ah. So by the time it's nine months, the condensing, the reduction of the speed, you remember, I just told you that if you heat up ice from the fridge, put it in something, it becomes vapor, it becomes, and then it becomes, disappears to the spirit. Okay. But if you now reduce that water that was, that disappeared, and now reduce and put it in the, the same water in the room, if you now put it in the freezer, it will not just, it will become concrete, block, it will become mass. The same thing, the same principle is happening in the woman. So it takes nine months to the object, the form, because what is the form that you get from the freezer? It is the form of the shape that you, any shape. Ah. So it's the shape of whatever you put it in. That is what you get from the freezer. The same thing when it is human, God already made that in God's image, in the spirit. So that shape is already there. Mm -hmm. So when you now put a child or a pregnancy, a the spirit in the woman's stomach, mm -hmm. it, on every stage, it's be, it, what God is doing is just reducing the temperature. Mm -hmm. Just reducing it. Mm -hmm. to, and at every level, something is formed. Mm -hmm. Something is formed. Mm -hmm. But where, what determines what is formed? It is not God. What is formed, it is now being determined by the embryos, the, the em embryo, embryo that you know, the, the two seeds that came together, they are now the one <laughs> because God didn't give that is why you the only thing God needed was that God didn't give the body. So, what you need from the man and the what, what the child needs is just the body, the body, the, body yes. huh? the, container. the container, and that's why you have two fixtures of the husband and something and then it forms the body and the container for the child so the only thing you give that child, 
Medical student, wow. you are you are learning medicine today. Yes. <laughs> wow. Medical students also are learning medicine. <laughs> All this from the bag. Mm. And didn't read medicine. You know for sure I didn't go to medicine school. <laughs> Even if you go there, you will not know what I'm telling you now. <laughs> that does it matter. It will not help you. <laughs> it's the Bible you say. So the only thing you need that for in the, your, that child took from you is just because of that shape. So if, how will you now claim ownership of the eyes when the only thing you provided is the cup? Oh. What about the person who gave the water? <laughs> and the person who has the fridge? And the person who put the freezer? So the only, that, the only thing you learn, that child, that's why when somebody comes to the world, death is explainable. Because once that body is dysfunctional or is immortal or is dead the life itself just returns back to it just takes on the speed of life and goes back to it so can you now explain why everybody that is dying they see have you heard of the dna people who die they see what Lies! Ah, you guys, oh, you guys. They're traveling back. Of course, the speed, yeah, the speed of light. And it is the light that is, so. (laughs) So, why do you need the body? It's not just to form the shape of the child. The eye of the mother, the leg of the father, and other. no, that is just elementary. But the greatest reason why pregnancy is needed and why the body and the container is necessary is because God needed that person he has sent on a mission here to mm. the earth mm. to be able to benefit the earth. Yeah. 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 And anything spiritual, you remember we spoke about it earlier, yeah. can never benefit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That pregnancy, therefore, is a process of con. Yes. <laughs> it's a process of conversion, so that you will no longer be spirit. Wow. Because through those six months, nine months, the every vital organ is being formed, so that you will be able to function here. So, and the reason also for that is because. You know, you can, you need that body to restrain you and to keep down your spirit man here. Mm. So, your, that your body, therefore, is your prison. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> but the, it's a necessary and inevitable prison for a purpose. What is the purpose? Mission. Mm. That's why everybody must discover the calling and purpose. Ah. You are in solitary confinement for a purpose, for you to be able to carry out your mandate. That's why a life without purpose is the greatest loss that will ever happen. Because you are confined for that purpose. So for you to be trying to escape and become spiritual again, you don't get it. Because you will escape sooner or later, because one day oh. that body will be worn out, it will die sooner or later, and you will travel back. But with what? Without mm. accomplishing mission or mission accomplished. Ah. Hey. <laughs> oh. But it's all manipulation of speed yes. and light, energy. But I've told you more than I needed to tell you. Let's follow this. Let's follow the script. Let's follow the script. Yeah. Where should our purpose be found in our pains? Our purpose be found in our pains is just because there are so many distractions in the world. When you once you get here, you begin to follow not the spirit because you have been so condensed that you are more aware of your physical body and physical reality because you need it, you are needed here than your spirit man. And because of that, you have lost touch with who you are, even where you're coming from. So you just begin to follow things as they are. 
I, you are packaged and you are influenced as somebody tell you, mm. you know, maybe your parents or your environment. Mm. So you, you've lost, the God is the last, your spirit man is the last something. So you need pain. Mm. It is in moments of pain that you have time to think. <laughs> it is moment of pain that, that helps you to begin to reason, think, and go deeper and reconnect to yourself. <laughs> I'm giving you too much information right now, but I think it's still helpful. But even though you think you are getting it, but you still not got it yet. You still need to go. <laughs> <laughs> you are you understand what you are carrying, but you didn't get it yet. You still need to go and over listen and over and over, and over again, again for you to get what I've just told you. Drop picture. Yeah, yes. you, right now you cannot. I'm talking too fast for you to draw a picture. Uh -huh. So you need to later on go and now paint the picture and be able to see the picture. Sir, just because, yes, sir. Does, does that explain John chapter one mind where it says that? Is the light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. Oh. It explains it very well. John 1 9, right? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. But we're still going to get there here. Okay. We're still going to get there. So you went ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're now, can you now understand that first? Can you read that first paragraph again? Because they read it, everybody, and but I think you will now understand it differently. Let's read it again now. If sped up fast enough, physical product or mass will first become heat and then become light. Are you getting it now? Mm -hmm. But if you keep on speeding it double, then it disappears altogether. It becomes invisible. Becomes invisible. Okay, go ahead. That's the spirit level. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. If it were to be sped up even faster, it would then become invisible. At the point of mass... See the difference in understanding. I've wow. painted the picture to you. Wow. Now you are getting what you are reading. Wow. Now, now you are reacting. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 At the point of mass becoming invisible is the point where it has converted to energy. Now, all this is not just energy now. It has been energy all the while, yes. even from yes. you know matchbox. Yes. But this is now the nuclear they call it energy. It is the invisible energy. That is why it can destroy the whole world. That is why they call those people superpower hmm. who have nuclear energy. And that's why they are signing the treaty. Please no use ammo. Who <laughs> 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 we'll all disappear. <laughs> yeah. All it takes for the visible to become invisible is a very high rate of speed. You see. This is where we get the term, the speed of light. Okay. Now, if you go further, I could explain to you where Einstein got that theory from. And nuclear energy, atomic energy, where they get the concept from. It is, again, by studying something that God has created himself. Everything is always from something God has already created. You see, there are different ways you could, you could bring innovation out. You could become a creator, innovator, and inventor. It is either by hearing God direct mm -hmm. and then convert, or by observing what God already created. Mm -hmm. So most of the things that scientists do, of course, mo some of them also get inspiration. But mainly they just observe nature. And from that, imitate duplicate and create something else. they convert that picture that thing into cars planes and things like that so now this energy atomic energy uh, nuclear energy they started they discovered this theory by studying the greatest energy that the world our universe has ever known and that energy is the end it is, it is the sun yeah. And they, were, they, they then studied. That's why we need science. Yeah. They began to study where does energy get is where does sun gets its energy from. Mm -hmm. So it is the study of sun mm -hmm. that brought about the discovery mm -hmm. that sun converts itself, yeah. part of itself, it recirculates into the speed yeah. like that mm -hmm. and keeps on regenerating. But that's another subject. I will come back to that another time. 
But let's <laughs> next January retreat. I will talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> light. I will talk about light and the energy of light. Next HMT. So now you have understanding about this page. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this little page here. <laughs> this little page here is very loaded. Yes. You can go through university ten times and not come back across this this one page here. You can study engineering, you can study physics, you can study anything you want to study, not come across this thing here. Biology, anything, study, you will not come across this thing here. <laughs> Because not the way they put education this day is just to tell you as a matter of fact. E equal M C square. It was Einstein who discovered it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it is called the law of energy, okay. Relativity. But they don't tell you relativity. So why is it called law of relativity? Who now knows? Who could explain to me why? Why is it called law of relativity? Yes. Give him the microphone. Let's see how my <laughs> student will perform. <laughs> because, <laughs> because everything is relative. Yeah, it can always change form. So it doesn't really exist. No, no, that's the textbook. Oh. <laughs> textbook. Yeah, but you are getting, you know, you, 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 the last phrase almost got it. Okay. It does not really exist. Yeah. Because it can always change form. Uh, come there yeah, so that they see you. The, the form of a thing can always change. It no, no, but why, why is it? You see, he got it from the fact that these ice, this water yes. can become uh, uh, water. Is, it, and the ice can, can become water, water again yes. and the, then it could disappear altogether. Yes. So that is why it's called it's low relativity. relativity. Because it, it, today we had it. Yes. If it's manipulated yes. a little bit, it's, no, it's now water. Yes. If it's manipulated a little bit, it it's now snow. ice. Yes. And if it becomes like a little bit, it no. becomes snow. No. And if it becomes manipulated a little bit, yes. it even disappears, it becomes vapor. Yes. Yes. So that is why yeah. they call law of... And they are all relative to And why did he say everything? It's relative it's to each other. It's not that early, everything, though. Know, yeah. The problem that science is making, this is science, but what he's talking about is relativity in relation to mass, yes. mass. and to material world. Yeah. But the problem of the West, Western world, is that they are now using that law in relation to morals mm. and principles. Okay. Mm. That way, if you make that mistake mm. and bring relativity to truth, truth. you self-destroy. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't get it totally. Eh? Mm. Because in, in, in moral... Uh, society building now, mm -hmm. people now begin to use that everything is relative. Relative. No, oh, sta no standard yes. truth yes. and no permanent truth. Yes. Everything is relative. Yes. But that is only, they didn't know that the thing is only in relation to M. Yes. Yes. Mass. Mass. Yes. <coughs> Objects. Objects. So, but people who don't know the difference, because they didn't explain to them. They only told them that everything is relative. So they just go that everything is everything. They don't know that everything is in relation to mass. Not in relation to principles, to laws. Yeah. So that's why the standards. I mean, but they don't believe it. it's not possible because if everything is relative, then there will be never be two plus two is four. Yeah. If everything is, relative, you see, so it's not it's not in relation to laws and principles and formulas. Yeah. 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 But people, when people who are who are not informed, who are who are not deep, they just want to manipulate the society. They tell you that ah, everything does it. So it doesn't matter. Are you a man or a woman? You can choose. Oh. That's what relativity means. There's no standard. You know, it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman or if you are good. Nothing is good or bad. Yeah. Everything is based on what you. Yeah, it's relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so they be, bring it to law, to moral laws, which is not the discovery, which is not what the relativity is talking about. You now see. I've explained to you that relativity is in comes in relation to what. Mass. You cannot ju change society just like that. No. 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 Hmm. And that's why the values of the world started falling since then. Anyway, I'm going to. Why am I going off wow. today so much? But I just thought I needed to lay the foundation for you people and, you know, at least help you get an idea of where we're going. Mm -hmm. So, you, I used to begin to have an idea why I said you needed that sleep or that chocolate or that 
vitamin. Is it? Are you getting it? Like, yes, sir. You are alive. You don't want sleep. You didn't even need to sleep anymore. <laughs> now we are going. So let's read this one. Einstein proved that mass M could be converted to energy if it could get going fast enough. For this to happen, it must travel at the speed of light squared. The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Something moving at light speed would make it around the Earth about 7.48 times in one second. In one second. That just for you to understand what light speed means. Around the Earth. Around the whole Earth. In not seven, seven minutes. Seven so, I mean, not seven minutes, but seven, in one second, it will go around the Earth seven times. <laughs> one second. You know what's one second? One, two. Speed of light would have gone throughout the air several times. Wow. That's why, you know, nuclear or something, you will not blink. You will, you know, I mean, you will not succeed in blinking. It will go, to, it will destroy the whole earth. And they don't just put one something to go one time, but they put a lot of them together. And the, then this is just the light of speed, though. I mean, the speed of light, though. but we are talking about speed of light twice. twice. <laughs> 15 times around the globe in one second. With in a blink of an eye. But I have ideas. I have ideas. By the time I get back to Nigeria, and I want anybody that is a science student, I'm not talking about science, I'm talking about researchers and uh, innovators. I want to gather Nigerian minds. I have ideas of how we must develop our own military scenario. Mm. And I, I have ideas of how to compete and bring Nigeria to the level of America and, mm. Europe and become mm. a, a world power energy in the area of military. So mm. that is one, I, but I, I think I, I will stop at that one. Mm. <laughs> I think I will stop at that one. Uh, so, so that they don't take me out before he's too... <laughs> before he's too... <laughs> It's too late, too early. <laughs> but I have, that's one of the things, that's one of my projects for the Africa. Wow. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see, give them some secrets. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you will keep the button. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I will let the experts keep the body, but I will just give them the idea of how it is done. How to be able to do things faster than just by observation wow. and in the laboratory. I'm going, going to give them the task. Hmm. Because all these people, it took them a lifetime to be able to find these things. But I'm finding them because I could relate to hmm. the source. Hmm. And then read the book. Hmm. Christians are supposed to be the most powerful people on earth. But religion has condensed us. <laughs> you remember the baby, the way that's what church, church is doing the same thing, incubating us and condensing us, lowering our energy. That is what church is doing for us. That's what religion is done. Just like the God condenses the child. The, the, uh, <laughs> that's the way religion is condensing all of us and we are becoming irrelevant on the earth. <laughs> But uh, I need, I just need God to help me get things moving on time and get out. And you will be shocked by the things that we are going to bring about in Africa. You will be shocked in a lifetime. Amen. What the West did in 400 years, 200 years, all that, we will, be, we will be able to make things happen. I keep on saying it, in 10 years, if I don't change Nigeria, say so you don't know me again. I don't need political power even for that. So my pains and my suffering are not in vain. That's why we need those pains. Uh -huh. <laughs> Especially if you know how to convert. <laughs> so 
So, when we now say in Einstein's law of thermodynamics, number one, energy cannot be created or destroyed. That also confines, it can only be converted. That also confines science for me. Because man is energy himself. Yes. And what happened to that energy? Is, you know, he said it cannot be created. Yeah. But they don't know the source. Ah. Yeah. That's just like man, man's life. People think, science is still believing that life comes from conception. But their own theory, science, what they don't think, is that science has already said energy cannot be created. So it cannot be, it's not conception that creates. <laughs> the energy around which the body was built itself, so where did that, is that, where did that come from? That is why it can, but it's not just cannot be created, but it cannot be destroyed too. That's why there's no death. Ah. <laughs> there's only convert. So, so that's why all of you must read my book, How to Overcome the Fear of Death. That's what he's talking about. If you read that book, you will never be afraid of death anymore. Yeah. Because it is only conversion taking yeah. place. No death. <laughs> Because energy, which is life, yes. cannot be created or it will destroy. You can only change form. It can only be converted. So death is only. <laughs> you are talking. But in that book, I'm also telling you into what and what expects you after death. What happens? The process of that happens. That's why that book is a must read for everyone. Give me that book. <sighs> you see the way it's big? Dark. Dark, yes. Dark. <laughs> How to overcome. <laughs> and then light. I put light inside. Yes. Is it light? Yeah. White? White and red. And red. Energy, yes. but light. light. So, how to overcome the, the fear yeah. of death. Is 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 ignorance that makes you to fear death. Yeah. Mm. By the time you know what I know, mm. you'll be praying for death every day. I pray for death every day. <laughs> yes, I wait for death every day and pray for it every day. Wow. The most exciting thing you will ever have. Hallelujah. That's why by the time you read this book, you begin to do the same. <laughs> because you also understand. So when scientists want to talk about death, there is no life. Everything disappears. Even with science, I will prove it to them. Even from this law alone, it's not from the world. And you too can now prove it. Yes. <laughs> but they don't connect stuff. Okay. But there are other laws. Yes. Okay, um. oh, why am I taking I'm taking you for too deep. Oh, oh you are enjoying it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, when the Bible says that he that believes in Christ will not die but have everlasting life. You see, it is Jesus telling the truth. So, not reality, not life, what we call reality. Yes, I go ahead. So, could that also be a form of conversion and uh, prove yes. the, po the point that we can't, we, are, we can't die, yes. but we can only be converted? Yes, excellent. That's exactly what I'm saying. But Jesus was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But people might not be able to understand, especially 2,000 years ago, talk less of I mean, science. But now you can see very clearly. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said, you will never die when you believe in me. <laughs> no death. No. Oh, yes. So, you want to, you want to go into this detail or it's too much for you? <laughs> you know, this is everything I have explained to you. Heat, energy, changing form. You want to read it? Yes. Oh, it's no need. No need, yeah. You just the experimentation of it. This is the laboratory, but I've already explained everything to you. Okay. God operates by laws and principles that he created. All of life, including spiritual life, 
operates by laws and principles. And it is only because of that, because the earth is made, is created to function and be operated on by laws and principles. And the number one law on earth is that earth must be operated by the law of time. Number two law, earth must operate and function only by the law of space. And number three, by the law of matter. But well, light is supreme. And that is the reason why even God, because he has put the law in place, that's why even God himself cannot benefit the earth without matter, without something physical and tangible. Because he has put the law there. This space, this area, supposed to function by matter, by light, by space. So without those three things, things don't function very well. That's why if you want to restore Africa, you must begin to awaken the nation and the continents to the importance of time. No African time. No African time. No, no, no. That's another book I'm writing. How to double America, I mean, African GDP to the power of time. Conversion. Time conversion. Time conversion. Mm. But we don't convert time in Africa. We waste time. Mm. But it's a law. There is no progress without it. Mm. Because those things function here only by those three things. But that's another thing. But God even submits himself to laws and principles. That's what I mean here. So the earth is made. Remember that forever. I, where is that my book? My Greatest Secret. My greatest secret, and life is predictable, yeah. There are two books I wrote about this. The greatest secret I ever discovered in my life is that life is predictable. That life is being made and put under strict laws. So when somebody, when I say something like, you know, life is predictable, this book must be read by everyone. But if, even more importantly than this book is another one that I call Life's greatest secret. This is my greatest secret. Life's greatest secret. This book here. Life's greatest secret. It's the book that where I talk about the greatest secret I ever discovered in my life. This book here. That, law, that uh, the earth is meant to function under certain laws. Fixed laws. If you get that right, that God, God has created everything to function under fixed laws, then you just, don't to, you just need to know the laws and abide by them mm -hmm. and you'll be able to do what everybody can do. Yes. Wow. yes. This is the greatest secret I ever discovered. And then the second one, life is predictable. These two books. My greatest, personal greatest revelation from where everything kicked off for me. I know I, since through, through that revelation, I began to know I, um, I can become a physicist. I can know better than, you know, you know, professors. I can know better than anybody. I can beat everybody to it in everything, in every area. Finances, everywhere. These are my greatest secret books here. All right, so God himself has put the earth under fixed laws. And because of that, he himself has to obey those laws. And that's why everybody comes to the world the same way, by right? through pregnancy. Even Jesus couldn't beat it. Because fixed laws. Jesus even had to be conceived. And he had to be there for nine months. Because he had to be condensed. That's why they call him man. He's the son of man. He's a man. He's a 100% man. Because he went through that process of condensing. Normally we, are thinking, normally, we are thinking that Satan breaks all laws. Uh, Satan is... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about Satan. He's going to, you are going to di 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 uh, divert me a little bit. Satan is illegal. <laughs> Satan is illegal on the earth. Huh? Yeah. You know, no, it's not always <laughs> Satan is illegal on the earth, just like God is illegal on the earth. Mm. Mm. Oh. 
But God has the right of a landlord and of the creator. So he's not functioning, he's not living here like that, but because he's the creator who created everything, that is where his legality comes from to be here. But with Satan, by the law that is created, he is illegal here. So what does he do? He deceives people who have legal rights to be here. That's why that's his greatest weapon is deception. Yes. Because it needs your ears to hear and to obey and be deceived by him and then make him to be legal here. So I don't know if you're getting this. But otherwise, it's not powerful. Yeah. Mm. So it's not all powerful like we are thinking yeah. until somebody has been deceived. Mm. Ah. <laughs> so, for example, there are people who believe that they are spiritual husbands. <laughs> well, Satan becomes powerful in their lives yes. because somebody has been deceived. Mm. There are people who believe that Whatever their fathers and grandfathers did mm. is torturing them. Mm. Well, Satan becomes powerful yeah. because somebody has been deceived. Mm. That's right. mm. So Satan is only having the real estate, the square meter that you give to him, depending on your level of deception. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> depending on his yes. success yes. in deceiving you. But God normally will not run the earth because he has already handed it over to man. That's why he said it's illegal for God. But it's not illegal for him because he's the one who created everything. Who, so when you call upon him, even if you don't, he will still be there. He's everywhere because he's the one who created everything. But he will not run the earth for you. So when people are now asking God, they said, no, the heavens and of the heavens is the laws. But the earth he has given to the sons of men. He's not going to run it for you. It will be illegal for him to do that. It will be breaking his own law for him to do that. So when you are praying for him to come and do it, to come and run the earth for you, and you are praying seven days, 30 days, 40 days, in the, come and heal Nigeria, come and fix Nigeria, come and develop Nigeria. Okay, oh. <laughs> but you will, there is nothing you will ever do to make him do it because he has said the earth he has given to the sons of man and the heavens of heavens is God rules over the universe in general but this earth eh? take responsibility do what is you, are, is you are required to do what is required of you well, you can die mm, yes, yes. yes. alright The first law of thermodynamics says that the energy cannot be created stronger or stronger. destroyed. This proves that man is an eternal being. Ah, you see that? Yes. God made Adam out of physical product, death, but breathed life into him, energy. Stop. Since God no more makes Adam each time, from physical product, where is that physical product coming from now? It's coming from man. Explain to no, no. Explain to me what is man. Explain to me how. I just explained to you five minutes, ten, thirty. From what? From the light. Give it, give it, give it. From the sperm. Is it from the sperm and um, the eggs? Yes. Because God has already done that with Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And he had already set the process in place. And he has set up a system whereby that dirt, that physical product, is now supposed to be passed from one to the other through eggs. Yes. Men egg and women egg. Yeah. He has put the system in itself. So you don't need, he doesn't need to consult the earth and the dirt every time anymore. That dirt is the only thing you give that child. Yes. You don't have a claim to him. I think it's only you who had me. <laughs> 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 so, 
don't think you are so important. Mm. Mm. And all those people who are making a big fuss and a big deal about children. Paganism and primitive primi, primi, primitivity or primitiveness. Because the only thing you actually donate into what you call child is that dirt. Is the dirt, no? Dirt. The dirt, the dirt. So you call it egg, you can call it any fanciful name, egg, the spam, embryo. <laughs> you can call it any fancy name, anyhow you want, fancy call it, dignify yourself and that. Okay, okay. But don't 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 overemphasize it. You are not as important as you thought. <laughs> That's why animals are as equal as you in that sense. And they have more dirt than you. Because <laughs> they feed from the dirt itself all the time. That's why they can give back to six, seven, eight, nine, twelve at the same time. And you can only manage three and four and rejoice every oh, brother at the same time. <laughs> Because dirt is the only thing you, you provide. Mm. Mm. How to collegate these two things? Mm. Now, from one part, you are nothing. Mm. And from another part, you are a history maker. Yeah. Because you have spirit apart from <laughs> flesh. <Yeah. laughs> spirit makes a difference. Yes. Mm. yes. yes. Mm. Yeah, from the spirit is the one he gives. So that's why he's the only one that really matters at the end of the day. So mm. it is, the child is not about your doing. Mm. So you don't own him. So even when you have the children, you must know that it's not any, it doesn't have anything to do with what you did. Mm. It's all about the person who gave mm. the spirit mm. and decided to confine that spirit in your stomach, mm. in your womb. So when the baby now comes out, you know that that person who conceived and put him there in the first place is the one that has ownership to it. And then you must now rear that child to be oriented and get back to the person and belong to him and never to you. That's the best way to be a parent. From your teaching, I begin to understand how Jesus walked through the water. Yes. It's like a stop. He stopped the fire. Ah, yes. He's been my disciple, you can yes. tell. Yes. But I'm going to also explain to you, maybe this week also, about why miracles happen and why, how they happen. So why is it that miracle, Jesus is able to heal somebody or I or somebody and some people are not able to heal? Why is it that you can stop and walk through the water? How does that happen in, the, in physical terms? We just say miracles and we make a big fool out of that. But by the time I explain to you, mm. you that is the easiest thing to do. <laughs> and that day when he goes to the Don't heaven. explain to them. Don't explain to them. Don't be in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I will do it later. <laughs> he wants to begin here to open your eyes. <laughs> earlier, earlier than necessary. <laughs> I need to lay the foundation for them. Uh, I need to lay the foundation. Uh, yes, let them get the foundation. <laughs> Let them get the foundation right first. Yes, 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 yes. Let them get the foundation right first. <laughs> Life is becoming exciting. Somebody wrote me yesterday after the evening something yesterday and said, ah, Pastor Sonny, I think I will read this letter. <laughs> I think I will read this guy's letter here. <laughs> he wrote me and people are getting excited yes, just listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said, you, you guys have been a Christian for like 20 years. What have you been listening to? Kartoshka. Come, come. Potatoes. 
read it out for people to hear. It. Say that, say that, say that. Okay. TSA, anytime I watch you teach, just as you have done tonight, you make me come alive and see life is worth living. Can you believe it? Just like he added the word of life. Life is worth living. I come alive. And this is a Christian, good Christian, one of the best guys you ever met. But can you imagine if this is what everybody is hearing in churches? Yes. We would have taken the we would have run riot with this world. We would have taken the whole world over a long time. That's why religion is dangerous. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. And Read see, it life again. is Read right. it again. DSA. Anytime I watch you teach, just as you have done tonight, you make me come alive and see life is worth living so as to fulfill purpose. So much to convert. So life is worth living. Just by listening. One day. Uh -huh. So much to convert and produce for mankind to benefit from. I'm bubbling inside of me right now. <laughs> Wanting to live long to release everything God has put mm. in me for the world. Thank you, sir. Wow. Yep. Thank this you. life is worth living and being a Christian is definitely worth it too. God bless you again. Wow. When light comes, that's what will begin to happen. So some people they will wonder, how is it that you are able to do what you did with all these white people, Europeans come to... There is nobody that can resist light if you possess it. So, so people are saying that, oh, well, English people are not coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> Depends on what you are dishing out. Be a possessor of light. Everybody will run. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't open your mouth. All of them, everybody would listen and say, never heard this before, I'm a teacher, I'm a professor, I'm a this, I'm a that. What is happening? Where are you coming from? Who is this man? Are you human? And that they are on your board, they are not white or yellow. That they would be asking if you are a human being. <laughs> because you are not. Because you are a carrier of God's life. <laughs> but that's why we must be connected to that God's life. And then we'll be able to set the world free. Okay. You have to start all over. Right, okay. God made Adam out of physical product, death, but breathed life into him, energy. And that is what qualifies Adam to be an eternal being. A human life is What is made that energy? Life that I spoke about. Life. Spirit. Remember when the, when the, the, the spirit it disappears into... Energy, Energy, spirit, yeah. spirit realm, okay. A human life is made up of energy. That is the breath, breath of, of God. God. That is the spirit. And mass. Mass, mass is the, the body. Death. Yep. Job chapter 33. Now let's find it in the Bible. Verse 4. The spirit of God has so made me. Spirit. Yeah. And the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Mm. See? So you are spirit. Mm. And it is that breath, that spirit, that is conjoined into your, into the uh, embryo mm. Mm. to obtain mass and shape mm. the dirt mm. from your parents. But it's needed not just to obtain shape and body, but to obtain functionality. Because you needed to be confined, not to be spirit anymore. You are still spirit, but to be more conscious of material world. So that you can now bring the assignment that is put in you from there. You have bring the heaven to the earth. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be ah. <laughs> That's why 
everybody is sent here on our side. Yes. You are packaged for something. And for that reason, the only explanation that you are not sent out an assignment is that you are not you didn't pass through the womb. But if you pass through the womb because you are reduced, condensed in for assignment. That's why you are formed in the body for assignment. That's it proved by itself. That you are packaged to be able to do something. That's why you are formed and reduced to body. But you are not body. You are still spirit. <laughs> Koi, are you still here? <laughs> I am. It, it, it's just as I was thinking about it. Recognition of this truth makes it easy for you to deal with demonic forces because you know they actually don't have a right no, to no, be they don't, here. They, they are nothing. They so are it's not any. But I, you, know, you, you remember the answer over. I gave. The effectiveness of demonic forces depends on what deception. deception. Ah. That's why the, the, the white people, European, don't talk about them. Mm. Yeah. Because they didn't listen to their deception. Mm. So to them, it's like they are not existing. Yeah. Because the more you are only, Satan is only powerful to the degree that you have been able to be deceived yeah. by, yeah. by him. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> the life, energy, that is within you cannot be destroyed even in death. Yeah. You remember, I remember I explained that, okay? Yes. For this reason, if you are not born again, that is saved by faith in Jesus Christ, rather than completely disappearing from existence, you spend an eternity in hell, separated from God, your source of life. Because you can never be destroyed again. Mm. Forever. Forever. So eternity exists for you. Either you believe in God or you don't believe in God. Because spirit doesn't die. There is no death. Even in hell there is no death. The death is only separation from God. Yeah. It is only the body that keeps the human spirit on earth. So when you go, let me prove that to you again. Have you ever seen the astronauts when they are in space? Ah. Uh, why do they flow? Because it's not the whole space. Ah, because the earth is the place that is meant to function by what? Three things. I just told you to the laws. Time, space, and matter. And mass, yes. But when you go out of space, I mean out of the earth, and go into space, because that law is not functioning there, there is no space. Because of the absence of space, that's why they float. Matter, material things, is what makes the earth not to float because of space. Matter, material, that's why you need the body here so that you will not float. If, you don't, if, if they had not been space, we would have been floating like that. Because they don't have space, you know, matter, material, things, that's why they float. Matter can go there like they went there as matter, but there is no space. So that, mean, that means there is no law of gravity. They are out of the earth. The law of gravity is functioning on the earth. That is, law of gravity is responsible for space, for things to be able to stand, material things. Number two thing that is not there, because there are two things that God created first. Time and space. And the second thing that is not there out of the earth in space is time. So if you spend one year in space and you went there when you were 40, by the time you come back, you will still be 40 from the very day. You, you, you will be the same age as the day you left one year ago, or two years ago, or five years ago, or ten years ago. Ah. <laughs> no aging there. Wow. Why? Because the law of time is not applicable there. So when we are talking about you are here to function here. This place, this earth is created specially for you to carry out an assignment. So for you to function 
and for the will of God to be done, he created this one specially for that and put it under fixed law. You remember those two books I said? Yeah. Fixed laws and principles. And for laws and principles to work, two things, three things. That, that is the law of time, the law of space. The law of time is, well, we know time. The law of space is relativity. relativity. The law of uh, matter. That's why we have materials. So everything that is in spiritual realm, they must obey this law. That is why conversion is necessary. Because without conversion uh, from spirit realm, they will not function here. Just like we, when we go to space, we cannot co we will function there. They have to build a space the drum special machine so that they will be able to function there, function there. Because we are not created for that particular space. There is no law time there. there is, our laws are not working there. There is no so that's why when you die, you don't have any problem. It's just like going laws like they flew out of our earth. The same way you are flying out of this earth, only beyond to the word of light and word of spirits, which is the kingdom of God. Yes. So you are still the same. Anyway, maybe you didn't need that information, but I think you should just think about that. Yeah. Okay? Yes. It is only the body that keeps the human spirit on earth. So you got it. I explained that to you already. Yes. But when you now get body, you have body like this, and you go out of the earth and go into space, into cosmos, that body doesn't help you already. Yeah. It doesn't even keep you on the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it's not conditioned for yes. it. Yeah. That's why you begin to float. Yeah. But the reason why you need body is a proof already that God sent you on an assignment. Because your body keeps you here. Mm -hmm. Max, you can relate to God in the spirit, mm -hmm. but to be able to see and bring the kingdom of God down here. Bro wants to speak. Give him the mic. Uh. Oh, it's getting too technical for you guys. Are you tired already? Thank you so much, GSA. This is so exciting. I wanted to ask, what happens when somebody is sleeping? And how okay. Good job. Sleep, like marriage, they are only health necessities. So when you get to the spirit, you don't sleep. You don't need it. When you get to heaven, you don't sleep. You don't need it. We will never sleep. Because that's why God, he says, doesn't sleep nor slumber. <laughs> because the spirit realm is so much superior. You are so much superior. Your spirit man is so much superior. You have to be held down by this body. So some people now begin to enjoy what is holding them down, the prison that is holding them down more than the real life that has been. That's why people always complain about death because they think that this prison where they are in is the real life. Can you imagine that deception? So what happens when you sleep? Number one, sleep carries out several functions is recuperation yeah. for your body yeah. to regain functionality. Yes. It's a system of renewal yeah. and a system of sustaining life, your life on this earth, your body, mm -hmm. so that your body can serve here yeah. for as long as possible. Function here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two is a reminder to you because you will not think by yourself. But even despite sleep, some people will see nothing. It's a reminder for you that you don't belong here. That's why you die every day. Because sleep is a form of short death. Daily death. 
for you to never be det attached there, but to always be detached on a daily basis to know that you don't belong here. <laughs> so that if you have sense, you uh, it will always remind you on a daily basis to be in good relationship with your creator mm. and to know that you are not yes, and that you are not the one in control you could be withdrawn at any day so you have to always be keeping yeah fresh your relationship with god and know that you depend on him that's for the wise the next thing why you need sleep is to give your spirit man the opportunity to communicate some information to you mm. is to it provides the ability for your spirit man to rearrange your subconscious, mm. and when the rearrangement of subconscious is doing, you begin to dream. Oh, mm. somebody asked about dream yesterday. Mm. That's <laughs> 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 so, but let me stop at that. I think that's oh. enough for now. Yes, go ahead. He had just a question about sin, how sin, sin and spirit man relate to each other. Good, 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 good. So sin and spirit man. Sin is only important. The question of sin only really mattered. The only sin that is important is the sin of Adam. And that is the sin that matters before God mm. and to God. Every other sin apart from that sin is not the sin that takes you to hell. So listen closely now before you declare me a heretic. <laughs> Yes. But the question that I was asked is that what is the relation of sin to death or to life, to the life of God? So the one sin that really matters, that really relates to life and God is that one sin. And that is that one sin that God had to labor, labor, labor you know, look for different ways and means to get man out of, to redeem man from, to be able to heal man from, until he now got Jesus to come and heal and totally destroy the power of that sin and of the ones you will ever commit. Mm. So, but the one that makes people, you know, some people actually have a good person. Even if you're a good person, you, you inherited that sin. So it is that that Adamic nature will still take you to hell, no matter how good you are. That is why we need redemption. So everybody needs redemption from that original sin. So why is it that it is the only sin that really matters? And it, because it is that sin that takes you to hell. Because even after you have been redeemed from that sin, and by Jesus, and by all your sins, you discover that you still sin. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But any other sin after you have been redeemed doesn't take you to hell because God, as Jesus has already redeemed you from the most important one. That is why everybody that dies, dies in a state of sin. There is no human being that dies without having one sin or the other in their life. You cannot confess everything because you don't even remember them. There are sins in your subconscious while you are sleeping. There are sins that you are dwelling in you, you don't even know. In your flesh itself is sin. <laughs> so it, that's why it is not that thing that you are doing now. It is your acknowledgement of what Christ has done to redeem you from the original sin and from your own sin and from the future sin that matters. If you have been able to receive that, you are redeemed. Yes. Now, some people will say, is that eternal security? No. Uh -uh. So God comes to deliver you from the power of sin altogether to kill the power of sin in your life. So when you receive Jesus... That law of life, spirit and life, comes into operation in your life. But if you now walk away from Christ, you reject, you turn your back, you go again under that law. It is your choice. 
God didn't remove your choice when because you became born again. So you are still a will, you are a person of you still have willpower. But God has potentially had already killed the sin. Killed sin, destroyed the power of sin that can take you to hell, and let you yourself go and put yourself under it again. But what they are, we are being taught in religious <coughs> churches is that ah, be only you, ah, don't see no, ah, you know. But yes, if you are going to walk away from God and go and put yourself in life of sin altogether, then you are going to be caught away from the life of God because you walk away from God. That is why you are backsliding. And sin that is again having dominion over you. Mm -hmm. Then you go to hell. Even though you were born again before. But if you love God. And you are striving to know him more. To have more relationship with him. Even though you are sinning. Even though you never admit. Some religious people will never admit it. Mm -hmm. Either you admit to. You know admit to. You are still sinning. Some, mm -hmm. you know, either you like it or not. Thoughts. You tell, you, nobody ever escapes it. Because you are just in the flesh. But sin, in that sense, doesn't have dominion over you again. Because you are in Christ Jesus and you are in relationship with God. That sin has been destroyed. It doesn't take you to hell. Amen. Okay. Somebody wanted to ask something. We but we don't want to get distracted, though. We had an okay. agreement as a group yesterday. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yes Let's continue then. Second Corinthians chapter five verse eight. We are confident. I've been distracted big time. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well pleased rather to be absent from the body and to be present Where is Maria? Is with the here? Lord. I can't see her. How, how can you be so quiet? I'm shocked. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, you are really, you are really behaving, you know. <laughs> you are really behaving. <laughs> you are very self-disciplined. <laughs> Please go ahead, read it again. Second, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eight. We are confident, yes, well pleased rather to be absent from the body. And to be present with the Lord. You see what I said? Yeah. If you, by, by the time you begin to understand what we are talking about, you will never desire to remain in that prison anymore. Yeah. That is called body. You will be praying to die. And that's what the apostles are talking about. Yeah. Because you, your eyes are open. You know who you are. Yeah. And where you belong. Mm -hmm. Death will be more attractive to you than life. But, you know, can you believe that when I speak about death like that, that I pray to die, that I love, you know, I, you know, I would rather die than live, and talk about death like this, people begin to, Christians, they say, ah, no, never, in the name of Jesus, you know, uh, we can't do it, or something, what they say, it's not your portion. Uh, we, it will never, it will never, you know, people, can you imagine in fact, we are so much in darkness that darkness has now become the norm. In fact, has become the accepted standard for us. So you are in the body. You want to be in the body. Ah, you will live. Oh, you will live. Don't go. You shall live and never die. You shall live. So they don't understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. Because I'm talking about that. That doesn't mean I'm going to die. I don't talk like that. If you talk like that, you might, if I have to know. <laughs> See, they, you know, they are magicians. They think talk, I talk like that, it happens, it's magic they are, what they are using. Mystery. Okay. You know, but see, apostles are talking here. Yes. If you really know what we know, if you really know, you will desire rather to be absent from the body, to die, and to be present in the spirit. Why? Because you belong in the spirit. Amen. You come from the spirit. Please write us your questions. Okay, yeah. yeah, write your questions that you wanted to, you, want, you raised your hand, you wanted to ask. Yes. Write it down. I w so that you don't forget, because I would like to answer everything towards the end. Okay. Once the body is removed, the spirit of the believer travels to heaven. Oh, you see the traveling, the journey. And the body is left here. So how can you say you want to remain here? It's ignorant. <laughs> uh -huh. As an internal being, 
with the breath of God flowing through our bodies. And you remain the same, you still have the same body, yeah. only it's not material body. It's a body that is conditioned to be spirit, spiritual body. That body that was confined, when it comes out of that body, it becomes full. It takes the shape of full grown up man. Yeah. You become fully grown because the lim limitation has been stripped of you. Yeah. As an eternal being, with the breath of God flowing through our bodies. You see the light is running to. Yes. Remember we spoke about it? Yes. Speed of light. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. We have legal right to function in the unseen realm and the tangible realm at the same time. But to be able to function in the, that realm of the unseen realm, <coughs> you need to shed the body. Mm. But right now we can do the two. But the two, for to be able to function in the spirit realm, is to train your spirit man to be in touch with God. Yes. But you are not to live there. You are not to live in the spirit, in the spirit realm. God will not tolerate you there. You must all, you just need to do what you do. Just like when with Jesus, with God. When he put the children of Israel in the Garden of Eden, mm. he had to withdraw himself mm -hmm. and step out and, and only came back to visit them in the cool of the day. Mm. Because if he stays there with them, it will, be, it, will be, it will become a distraction to them. Then they would not be able to function, right. to carry out the assignment for which they are here. So it's the same thing for you to be, want to be spiritual all the time. Mm -hmm. You are not pleasing God mm. by trying to be spiritual all the time. You are displeasing God rather. Because rather he made you to come. That's why even God had to withdraw and then come. Even though the presence of God is always there, they are in the presence of God doing what they are doing. But he needed to step out so that they can do what assignment. The same thing for us. We are not supposed to be here for spirit. We are supposed to be here for earth. To bring the spirit down to earth. I don't, you people are getting that, right? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. good, good. The things in the spirit realm are really functioning at such a high speed, they are unseen by the naked eye. Can you now understand why you don't see angels? <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the speed with the operating. You remember the object? Yes. Yes. If they, they, because they are in the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Twice. Mm -hmm. Square. Mm -hmm. That's where angels are. God, uh, that's spirit realm. And that's why when man dies, you think he died. But the man is still there telling you because he is now in the speed of light, yeah. in the spirit realm. But he's still there over you. Yes. So you don't see what is happening, and he's seeing what is happening yeah. because he is no more confined. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you had those, sto you had those stories, stories about clinical death and yes. things like that. Yes. 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 They are there, but they are no more confined. Okay? They are functioning as energy or at the speed of light squared. Yeah. If physical products were to get going fast enough, it will disappear. As it has been converted energy. It remains in the form of energy as long as it remains at that particular speed. If you reverse the process and take invisible energy and slow it down, you would first have the entrance of light followed by mass or material. Mass, if sped up, converts to light and then light converts to energy. If this is so, then it is safe to say that the reverse would also be true. Any mass that has been converted from energy would produce... When I'm talking of energy, I'm talking about spirit. Spirit level, right? Mm -hmm. Any mass that has been converted from energy would produce light as it is slowed down and is fully converted to physical product. That's what I explained to you, right? Okay. Light would accompany energy's conversion to physical product. That's why even when angels appear, people see light. Yes. 
because they are converting from the speed of doubles light, light. speed of light yeah. to double to light and then before the product. So sometimes you see them like light. Mm. Or they said whenever any angels appear, they say it's a great light appeared mm. because they are coming from that realm. Mm. Mm. That's where they do dwell at the speed of light. And they are converting, slowing down, slowing down before they become visible. And because it happens sharp, that's mm -hmm. why you can see light sometimes. Mm -hmm. They are not carrying light with a uh, lantern or something. No, mm -hmm. no, no. It's just because of the, the speed of how they converted. Mm -hmm. That's why you are able to see light. But they are not seeing that light because they are in the in there anyway. It's just for you because they are slowed down their existence, their reality. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Example. Why in scripture bright lights accompany the appearance of angels? Mm. <laughs> angels are all around us. Yet, we are unable to see them because of the rate of speed they are functioning at. So why is it that we don't see them? At what point do you see them? When they, when they want to become... Body. Bo ah, body, physical. Even though they are here all the time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But they are in their realm. Yes. Yes. But when they want to become visible for one reason or the other, they convert very fast. Yeah, yeah. Vibration takes place. That's where you see the light. Mm. <laughs> when an angel does appear to us accompanied by bright light, it is probably because they have slowed down enough and in the process of converting themselves to physical product that we can see and even touch the physical world, for the material world, right? Mm -hmm. Bright light accompanies the conversion. This is because light speed squared is slowing down. You guys in it? Yes. Okay. God speed or light speed. The realm... But God's speed, because that is the realm where God dwells. And that's why I wanted you to remember that Genesis 1-3. Light. light. Let there be light. You remember I told you yes. in the beginning? Connect everything I'll be saying now about light to that Genesis 1-3. Not the light of just knowledge or something. This is another level. Okay. God's speed or light speed. The realm and speed in which spirit beings operate. The spirit realm is functioning at such a high speed that not only is it invisible, but it exists outside of time. I've already proved that to you, right? Yeah. Your with, with the astronauts, yes. that they exist out of time. When we, the earth time is only for the earth. Space is only for the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not just the speed of the angels, but out of time as well. That's why they don't die over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand <laughs> years as one day. Do you understand what that yes. means now? Yes. Why the explanation? Because with the Lord is living yeah. infinity, no time. Beautiful. You are smart. You are getting it. Thank God, thank God. You are sharp. Uh -huh. The concept of God functioning at an entirely different speed compared to earth realm also gives explanation to prophecy and why God is able to speak about things that have not happened yet as though they have happened and wants you to speak the same way. Yeah, what happened, what, what's going on is that we who are living on earth, we are deceived mm -hmm. to thinking that reality is past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. But reality is there is no past, present, and future. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take this room, for example. In real life, which is the spirit life, that is the real life. Take this room, for example. If I debarkate it into three, 
that you first row will be in this place mm -hmm. and then the other one will be there the other one will be there there are three different ones and you don't see one another does that mean that that doesn't exist no it exists and the other one the third one also doesn't exist it exists but you don't see them yes mm. because of the partitioning because of the yes. partitioning the, the, partition, the vacation yeah. the same thing with time past present and future everything is one room like this yeah. So in the spirit room, the demarcations are just removed. Yes. That's why you can prophesy, you can go into the past and to the future, you can manipulate, you can, everything is. So your life, the 40 years you have lived, when you are living from the realm of the earth, from the physical realm, you think you have lost your past. And then your future look to you as something that is in the distant future. Something you cannot touch right now. You are only aware of present. That's an illusion. So, but if you are a spirit person, spirit, you will discover that in the real sense, that is debacation and manipulation, deception of time. That is the illusion of time that is managing the earth. That is just for the functionality. That's why I wrote that book, the secret of life. That's just for the functionality. It's just for the things to work out. It's not the real life. Your real life is really that you are one whole person from your day of birth or your conception till today. You are just one person as a whole until you will die into the future. So if you are higher being, if you are a higher person or a spirit person, you can go higher and begin to see yourself as a whole and begin to see the whole earth as a whole and then be able to rule over and have dominion on the earth as well. Say, say, say. Give us the microphone. Let us see what she's saying. As you were because saying, it's like she's getting it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> take it, take it. That is why God confounded the wise and all of us by still making it possible not not making it possible but for sarah and Ab abraham to be able to have isaac at the age at which they did yeah yep because we think after 50 yes we think oh after this certain age that can't happen anymore oh this is the time but that's for god there is no demarcation. that is a little bit explanation into su the supernatural and miracles hmm. But I've only explained to you right now in terms of the past. But by the time I begin to operate mm. in the times of the future, you understand better miracles. Mm. Mm. But the whole thing is one time. Mm. So miracle is there for just reaching out yeah. a little bit. Mm. I'm pulling it here. So when you operate by faith and when you develop your spirit man mm. to the extent that you are strong enough, faith and your spirit man reality will be stronger than the reality of yesterday, today, and, yes. into, and reach out to the spirit realm, to the future, and drag things out here. It's also conversion, but mm. we'll get there. <laughs> but possibly I will do that in January. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we'll, get, maybe we'll get there this time, we'll see. You got your ticket already, eh? Okay. You are going to get your ticket, okay. Yeah. Read again. Yes. Right. The concept of God functioning at an entirely different speed compared to earth realm also gives explanation to prophecy and why God is able to speak about things that have not happened yet as though they have happened and wants you to speak the same way. And, you know, all these people who do prophecy, they make it mysterious, as you say. You know, they just make everything mysterious. And make, and do a business out of it. It's just... Because they are operating and they are exploiting your ignorance. Romans chapter 4, <laughs> verse 17. <laughs> as it is written... 
I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed. God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So why do can God call things that do not exist as though they did? Because it's, it's in the spirit where there are no debarkations. It's to them, it's to, them, it's, it's to him is one room. The future, the past, and today, he's just calling it like this. Just like you are, you are all there in the future over there, and you are seeing me here, I'm seeing you here, I can call you like, it's operating on a higher realm. Yeah. But it's you, when it's debagated like that, you cannot see. You say, oh, I will live till the next 10 years time, I will know. Because you are not living from the spirit level. You have confined yourself. But that's why we are, when you are develop your spirit, when you are working with God, you'll be able to operate on this level. The tenth dimension. <laughs> Biblical examples of God's speed. Bless you. Number one, the resurrection. Jesus, after his resurrection, was moving at such a high speed that he was able to walk through a closed door, but then slowed himself down enough that he could eat fish and ask them to touch him to see that he was alive. Are you now getting that? How that miracle happens? Yes. How? You can see that there's no mystery here. It's just understanding the dimension, yes. the spirit dimension, that everything is speed. Yes. Quicking speed and slow speed. You are smart. So making things mysterious is one of the greatest undoing of the church. Because they just make you to think everything is mystery. And that is when Satan gets time to deceive. Because like, Satan likes darkness like that. Things that are not clear. Things that are mystery. He likes mystery. Because he reigns in darkness. That's why he's the prince of darkness. Why Jesus is the prince of light. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, he doesn't want you to understand what's going on. Okay, let me explain something to you. Why is it that Jesus was able to do miracles and walk in the supernatural? Because he kept in himself, just like that, atomic energy and nuclear energy that could be conserved and preserved to become bomb. The same way you could become a walking bomb, bomb. Just gather this light, as much as possible energy, light energy in you. Um, so you can just find out, because for you to be able to do nuclear something, you have to find the, sh the cleanest products. It's, it's not just paper, you can you know, like I said, the heavy is the cleanest. Mm -hmm. It's clean mass. It's clean something. And that's why they go to Congo to look for, is it aluminium? Mm -hmm. To do, to, uh, uh, uranium. 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 uranium, uranium, uranium is the cleanest mass. Wow. That's why it is what is used to do nuclear, yeah. nuclear energy. Because it's the cleanest. Yes. It's the one that can sustain and r r remain till no, no, speed light twice. Yes. 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 So, so, the same thing in the spirit, in the, in the spirit realm. Because that is the light, the, the sustained light. The same way, we need to look for things that are the source of light, the, eye, the greatest carrier of light also, and sustain yourself in them. What are the, what are the greatest carrier of light? L love. Yes. Faith, Faith, hope, mm. kindness, generosity, wow. forgiveness, wow. no hatred, mm. uh, joy. Uh, all the things, you know, the, 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 the fools of the spirit, all the things, yeah, things that are energy, light, things that, so, for example, when Jesus, why is it that people will touch him and they say, virtue comes out of me at all? Because it's a container. Ah, it's a preserver. It's a container of energy. So, but so much positive energy in him. 
when any because cancer sickness disease those are yeah. negative energy yeah. so, <laughs> so anyone just need to come across and touch him. that's why when people are making a big deal of anchor shield mm -hmm. and things like that they don't get it Objects. they only get to become idol worshippers mm -hmm. they would have told me told me to explain to them mm -hmm. how that works so when they touch him, it is the virtue. The virtue is talking about the positive, the concentration of positive energy. Just heat is light that is hitting the darkness of the disease and shattered it in that moment. Ah! That will not be RNG. No RNG. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so when, when we tell you not to live in anger and bitterness, mm. ah. 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 why should be a, why should you be a conduct and a con uh, pre reservoir for negative energy? So he always asked me, Pastor, how do you forgive these people who have done, who are always unto you? I cannot afford to be a carrier. Ah. <laughs> of negative energy. I have determined to become a reservoir. <laughs> That is why I can easily assess God. Yes. Because I live close to you in that same realm of light. Wow. That's why I can get understanding that normal human beings don't get. Oh. Because I strive to get to rid myself of anything that can depreciate my life. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know that's good yet. <laughs> you have the microphone. You have the microphone. Is that why Paul said to us, be renewed in the in the transformation of your Micro mind? Microphone. Oh, sorry. I said, so is that why Paul says that we should renew our mind so that we're only thinking on things that are true? You, you got it. That is exactly it. Yes. The transformation of your mind. That is why Peter could walk. And he shot. Ah! <laughs> That is why they could take the clothes of Paul. I use it. It's not about the, pre the something. It, ah, ah. <laughs> but people have come to do doctrine out of it. <laughs> and they are carrying anchor from anybody without virtue. With people with negative energy who want to kill Boko Haram and want to slaughter. Instead of teaching you to become a reservoir of light. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm giving you too much information this day. <laughs> Maria, Maria wants to say something. <laughs> I think I've given you too much information in this HMT. Praise the Lord. Pastor, there's a question I wanted to ask. For example, for example, there was a time I was meditating because you are discussing what you are discussing, I remember those things. I was meditating, then I went to another realm. I couldn't come back, you know. I couldn't come back. I said, if I want to stay there, so I was so scared. Since, since then, I'm, I'm be careful when I want to meditate so that I will not go. So what, what, what is it? <laughs> but that's different from what we are saying. That is meditation. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that kind of meditation in Christianity. Mm -hmm. Because that meditation that makes you to want to fly away, mm -hmm. that is the meditation that people normally do. Mm -hmm. They want, they, it takes them from reality. Mm -hmm. But our yeah. meditation is meditating on the reality mm -hmm. of the word of God, the personality of God. Mm -hmm. But if you do, it's possible that it could happen to you in the spirit too, but that would mean you are in a trance mm -hmm. or in a vision. Yeah. Yes. Okay? So are we continuing? Yes, sir. Okay, so we are explaining to you <laughs> miracles. Yes, I'm explaining to you miracles. Yes, sir. How miracles happen. <laughs> and the source of miracle and the secret of miracles. Okay? 
Oh, uh, okay. Jesus slowed down okay. light. Let's start all over again. Number one, the, res the resurrection. Jesus, after his resurrection, was moving at such a high speed that he was able to walk through a closed door, but then slowed himself down enough that he could eat fish and ask them to touch him to see that he was alive. Second point. Jesus slowed down light speed or energy speed and converted to physical product for the purpose of being relevant on the earth. Yeah. This is also the reason why Jesus was able to appear in many different forms unrestricted by earthly laws and principles. He was only doing one thing. He was speeding up and, and slowing down. Slowing down. <laughs> At the wink, at the wink, uh, what blink about? Of an eye. Huh? Blink of an eye. At a blink of an eye, yeah. At the blink of an eye, yeah. Can enter and then become slower, and you can touch him. Is that why Philip disappeared? Is it Philip? Trans, yeah, teletransported, teletransportation. Yes, we can explain it here too. Yeah, <laughs> teletransportation. The third principle. Only when material mass can be converted to energy does it become invisible and unhindered by earthly mass, laws, and principles. Okay, we'll stop here today. Mm. Because now I want to hear you. And then tomorrow, we'll, we'll take it from here. So let's give the Lord a round of applause. And, uh, We have not finished, for the people watching us, we have not finished our class. I just want to stop teaching right now so that they will be able to, I want to get the feedback from them, what everybody got, and what touched you most, or what you think you got most, what you really think was communicated to you. Hmm. And uh, meanwhile, for those people who are watching us, please go and share this message. Uh, it might be able to help somebody, but at this one, I would like for you to be careful who you share it with. Yes. Only people who are hungry enough and who are designing enough, who are discerning enough, and who are, you know, enlightened enough. All other people who are religious might think that, you know, I and you all, we have all lost our mind. <laughs> because they don't, belong, they don't belong in the same realm. Absolutely. But if you know people who are hung hungry for truth, who desire the truth, share with them. It might be able to change the life and turn the life of somebody upside down. Mm. You know, we are doing conversion here. And let's, now, uh, you have heard me talk, but now let's hear the participants talk, what they got from everything they have been said so far. Who is the first? I'll start. Yes. Uh, I think w w one of the first points to raise here is the fact that you have demystified everything. <laughs> everything that has been, so to say, shrouded in secrecy and has made millions of people to be pursuing what is actually writing them and around them. Only if teachers would have taught them, right? would have taught them, but I'm even now thinking if they know that much. I don't think so. This thing I'm teaching out to you people, maybe, I don't know how many individuals by fingers you'll be able to count in the whole world. Who, who knows? Maybe no, but maybe, I don't think, no, I think maybe there are some people out there that we, don't, we don't know. And so all of a sudden, it, 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 it really, it, it, I mean, it really affirms why there's no need chasing after Mirage. Miracles and all of these. Because ah. it's not it, it's not a big deal. No, at all. Hmm. Especially when they are fake. Hmm. <laughs> and when people who are not carriers of life are telling you their performance of miracles, just hmm. you know, let me start and be going. Hmm. Yes. Let me come and be going. Hmm. You just know that it's hmm. fake. You see, what, real miracles, you know where they come from. Hmm. Accumulation of... Just in case. I mean, I, <laughs> for me, I, it's like I just got a lesson on 
science mm. <laughs> <laughs> that I probably that I've never saw, never experienced as it pertains to. And I like the part I really like is how how you tied it up to purpose, mm. how God sent us here from that we were a spirit, and then the, the, explain the whole woman's um, the, the, pregnancy, her, her, her woman pregnancy, mm. and that she, that the man is the man of the woman is sent here on assignment, mm. and, purpose, and then that that really amplifies the importance of purpose. Yes. That it, that that it, it amplifies that, and that ties into what we um, with yesterday, how um, uh, Pastor Christina was saying she's not satisfied with them going mm. and get a job. Mm. Yeah. So purpose. That means, so that means we must emphasize purpose. So that that was just the one that really that really touched me. And the whole science experiment. I mean, I just, I, I can I have to go back and listen to that message yes. because it's just yeah. so loaded. rich and loaded. Uh, thank you so much, DSC. This is just, and I have one question. Is that you who are discovering DSC all over again? Yes, yeah, I have one question. Yes, sir. I thought I knew DSC. I didn't know DSC. <laughs> I didn't know. Because it's like it just took us to a whole nother level. But I want to know where did you get this from? I don't know. It's through involvement. Uh, uh, I keep on evolving. I keep on learning. I keep on growing. I keep on adding to it. I keep on becoming more perfected. I keep on, just like I told you, from the age of 25. Mm. Till now, 25 years of uh, learning, changing, discovering, working with God. Yeah, I read, I study, different things, different. Where I make the connections, I make the dots. It's not one place. You cannot find this material in one place like that. If they find it in one place, it means they are my disciples, mm. people who have been taught, by, who have who have listened to me taught the teaching because I've taught it in previous ancient days to my disciples. No, but not so detailed, but something like this, yes. So as Nairon, I also learned science today because <laughs> I had a background of science because I study civil engineering and uh, transportation. I studied physics, uh, but I didn't know about this. And I... You studied where? I studied in, in Africa, in Togo, in Togo, in Morocco, and in France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the Indo what you are getting to know here. Yeah. And he didn't study for one day, or like here, yeah, one day or two no. days. He studied for years. For years. And all those years of studying science, he didn't get to know. I didn't stuff. get it. And I, I was able to connect with the first teaching we did. Yes. Because at the first teaching, we are uh, talking about invisible things yes, becoming, becoming visible. visible. Right. And now we are talking about, we are explaining uh, from the visible process, things, yeah. the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, it's very amazing. I, I need to <laughs> <laughs> listen and listen again. Yeah. Beautiful. Anu. I introduced the idea, Spirit Hanu on the mission. <laughs> All of us are like that. Yeah. We are spirit on a mission. All of us. T tonight you have taken us to a, another level. <laughs> uh, that it, it, it started to explain a lot of things. Um, uh, can, I, can I say that Elijah's Disappearance is connected it's explainable, with explainable, of course. Yeah, yeah. speed. Mm. The manipulation of speed. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The same with Enoch. Enoch, mm. yeah. The God to God speed. Yeah. That's all. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad I came. I'm glad I You just arrived. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Where, where are you coming from? From uh, Delaware, USA. USA, oh. you've been traveling, my oh. God. 
<laughs> have your seat. Have your seat. What was the name, sir? Frederick. Frederick Obede. Frederick Obede. Yes. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. I'm happy to meet you today, dear sir. <laughs> <laughs> At last. <laughs> well, well, well. You are you are <laughs> entering into an experience here. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sir. Um, sir, I, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, yes, like uh, my brother said, I'm from a science background. So when you started, I understood a little bit of what you were saying. But just you relating it to the Bible, to creation, to the Word of God. Makes sense, huh? For me, you, what you've just done, like um, he said, by demystifying what was like mystery, you just made me fall in love with God all over again. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Because yes. for me, it's... Um, yes. Because we've gone through life, we've gone through spirituality, as they call it, and everything was so mystical. Everything was so mysterious. They'll tell you God moved in a mysterious way. God walks in mysterious But now I understand that Christ, and this is what Christ, I'll say God in Christ has always wanted for his children, for everything to be, to, to be laid bare before them. Demystified. Demystified. They, they know the, the secret, the principle of life so that you can walk with him just like Adam walked with him in the garden. You can be very close to him. Nothing is like a mystery to you. He's not spooky. God is not a spooky God. He's, he, he just, he just, I don't know how to put it. I, I'm just falling in love with God all over again. It's just. She is so, she is so hungry. And so, sir, sorry, just one thing. Just one, sorry, just one thing. I, because as a science student then, years back, I was watching a documentary and it just goes to validate what you've just said. But then I didn't understand. I was watching a documentary where they were kind of like uh, in the micros microscope studying when a sperm and an egg is fused together. Every time the two comes together, there's always a spark of light. Mm. But they couldn't explain it. And they were trying to find out why that light, every time the sperm and an egg comes together, there's always a spark mm. of light. They could, they could see it under, uh, I don't know what they call the microscope, but this powerful microscope, yeah. But they couldn't understand. But then, me, I just felt, okay, I don't know what's going on, but... but it's the entrance of the spirit. spirit. Light is the basis of everything. Okay, ask it. Don't worry, just come here and ask in my microphone. Okay, ask, just speak loud. Yes. I was just wondering, Give to me. Give to me. Yeah. No, you, sp you speak here. Speak oh, okay. here. Yeah. Um, I, like I keep saying, I don't know anything. I'm just learning. <laughs> Control, alt, delete, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, please, I don't want to spiritualize anything. How can you please tell us how to develop? So, today now, we've learned how to now read the scriptures and convert what we're reading, how can we further develop? Because you see, it's all well and good, we're all here, as you're saying it, it's coming to life. We can see what we're being taught. But when I'm now alone in my room and I'm reading my Bible, I, not the seven steps to or the 10 steps to, but the practical way for, for, for me to be able to make, read the word and it comes alive again and have this, this experience day in, day out, minutes in, minutes out. Okay. How do you sustain this? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. very simple. Number one thing you have to know is that uh, everything in life depends on environment, first of all. 50% of everything, any influence in your life is environment. Yeah. Then another 40% is character building. Yeah. So you have to, when you come back home, the greatest challenge you are going to have is with environment. Yeah. Satan is going to, not just Satan, but just this world system, yeah. is going to put you under pressure to come under the obedience yeah. and under the submission yeah. 
of the reality of daily reality of your children you have small children crying running after that you have to go to school you have to take them to kindergarten you have to so you are losing touch with what you connected to here yeah. so you are getting to vanity so the the fight against vanity to, for, for overwhelming you is your greatest challenge yeah. then the greatest one apart from family is uh, Uncle Sam challenge. Mm -hmm. Then because you have to go to a job from then to seven to eight, so you don't, you want to stand with God, you want to be able to concentrate and connect to the light and connect to the spirit. But then you have to go to job, you have to come. Then you might not have the discipline enough to be able to connect to the source that we have just discovered here. So that battle to get yourself, you know, out of the control of all the forces that are captivating you and making you, you into their slave. Yes, sir is what you want to. That's why the discipline here is very high. And that's why the pressure here. We are creating a situation whereby you learn to, you know, be disciplined to, to, to overcome yourself. So because you have greater fight there to fight, to be able to set yourself free. You, I have a message that is called create your own prison. That's basically what's the answer. You've got to create your own prison. <laughs> and that in that prison, then you do what you want. You connect to the spirit realm, you connect to the world, you connect to something, you connect to the messages, you, you begin to build, keep on building that endurance, that character, that you know, weight inside you. But if you don't build your prison, because you, don't, you, you, because you don't have any option, if you don't build your own prison, then you'll be living in the prison that other people build for you. Because your friends will build prison for you by calling you, and you are living their own prison. Then your family build prison for you by telling, oh, Obama, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, daddy. Then your job will build the prison for you. Oh, you are needed now. Come now. Mm -hmm. Then money, the demand for money, survival brings to the yeah. So, yeah. I hope I answered the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brother wanted to talk. Okay. Yeah. Just say, I have to thank you a million <laughs> times for. Uh, this expose, um, the Einstein law of uh, thermodynamics is uh, fascinating. I also study some, take some thermodynamics courses uh, in my university, and um, I've not heard it this way. Uh, not only that you explain it, you also went further to uh, um, caution the wrong application of what Einstein meant. Uh, by relating it to anything other than the earth, I mean the, the, the mass. The matter, yeah. Yeah, matter. Um, and that's why we have issues of uh, so many things that is happening. Political uh, correctness poli politics and, and atheism. Uh, yeah, and all it's that, happening. Yes. So that is interesting. I also got that, you know, uh, I mean, understand that our body is given to us so that we can function here on earth. So it's useless to labor to remain in the body. Yeah. And it's also useless to focus more on the spirit. Uh, because uh, the body <laughs> should have. <laughs> so the, the, our body, you know, um, um, is for us to benefit the earth. Yeah. Um, and then. And it's also. Uh, which I didn't mention, let me quickly mention it now. It's also futile to live for anything else other than the assignment you are commissioned mm -hmm. and for which you are given the body. Mm -hmm. So to now you give your body and give it out to Uncle Sam, mm -hmm. job, not for the purpose for which you are, is futile. Mm -hmm. So the education system, therefore, is supposed to be built and run this everybody, helping everybody to discover what it was sent here for, and then going specifically to develop the skills mm. yes, sir. Mm. and the know-how that will help him to be able to release that purpose. That's the whole essence of education. That's where it's supposed to be. But right now, the way it is, is that it is formed, education is, came, was, was developed by capitalists, by people who own capital and who need working class to sustain the economy. So it's just a slavery system. So you are, you are sent to school just to know what to do to maintain somewhere, to be enslaved and to service the system. 
So mainly that is what education is doing right now, producing servants and slaves to serve it, to keep the system serve going. Yes. So the whole, uh, 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 all thing about, uh, you know, education is supposed to be changed into the way God intended it to be. Go so ahead, the, the question that I wanted to ask is when you talk about the saying. Yes. Um, I know the scripture says in First John 2.10, and I want to read it, and I want to ask whether, you know, is this an explanation, or this is different from the explanation you gave. Okay, sir. It says, my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Yep. So when you said, you know, um, the, the sin that matters, the sin of Adam, Yes. But every other thing. So I now remember this scripture and I was wondering, is it the explanation of this scripture or this is different? No, no, it's very connected to that. This is saying that God doesn't desire that we sin. Mm -hmm. Christians shouldn't be living in sin. Mm -hmm. Because when you are living in sin, sin separates you from God. It's taking you away, it's stealing you away from God. So you cannot, but because we are human, God also knows that you cannot do without sinning. Mm -hmm. Either in thought or intention or in either willing or unwilling, either you know or you don't know. That's just a carnal nature. That's why he's telling you, he's not telling you that you will not sin. No. He said, you don't, don't go and be sinning. Don't live in sin. But, you know, don't sin. No. But if you, you should sin, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Know that it has been taken care of. Go back to the person who took care of it. Talk to him about it. Keep on moving. Go back. Keep on moving. So he is there for you. He has already taken care of it. Don't worry about it. It's no more your burden anymore. Don't live under that weight as if sin is killing you. No, 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 no. He he go to the person who has dealt with it and renew your relationship and keep on going with God. Thank you, dear sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's our professor there. Thank you so much, dear sir. Uh, you might need to stand up, sir. Yes, yes. Because we are, okay, now it's good. Thank you so, so much. I'm a science student. I, you are a science student? Yes. Oh. I'm a laboratory scientist. Oh, okay. So I, I use a microscope every day. Oh, okay. So, but I've never really, <laughs> 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 I've never really understood the law of relativity. You know, I really want to, but, but Frederick. For everything, when you get back home, or maybe while you are still here, these two days that you miss, <laughs> they, are going to, they are the most important things you should go back to and very listen to them very well. Because, you know, because you might have the illusion that since I was here, you will not forget that you have missed. So don't forget to go and listen to them very well. Okay. So thank you so much for, I, th I think I will encourage science students that I come across to listen to this, uh, this teaching. teaching on the law of relativity <coughs> and how it all functions and how it, you explain it tonight. Um, yeah, because I, like I said, I have a friend. He's called Vincent Anibogo. He's a professor in the University of Atlanta and he's been in the U.S. Uh, for 30 years teaching chemistry and physics. Mm -hmm. And he said, for the first time, I understood physics in the Bible yeah. and, chem and mathematics only because I listened to Pastor Sunday. Yeah. Chemistry, he's a teacher, professor of chemistry. So I would started seeing everything from another. Before, I was just a teacher, just giving people knowledge, just as a matter of fact, this is it. But to know the reason why and why the laws are created, why are they made out, they're supposed to be sure what is the purpose for it, I never did. And that's what you are talking about, and that you yes. want every science student to... To listen. Hmm. Even if you're not a science student, you don't need to be a science <laughs> student. <laughs> you don't need to be a science student. Just the, the law of thermodynamics. Hmm. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Yes. Hmm. It already explains why there's life after death. Oh. <laughs> that's so powerful. Hmm. I never saw it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for, for the grace and that And I've God only looked at the one law. Mm. One day, I hope I'll be able to do the second and third love for you people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just really, really overwhelmed. I'll listen to this over and over again. And uh, 
there's really no argument for a science student to, or to, for a scientist to be able to explain how there's no life after death. How will you explain that energy <laughs> cannot be created or destroyed <laughs> and, and how, where and does then you are saying that no more life? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so there's really no argument. So, so I have a question. When you, you talked about the, um, the spiritual force and uh, that in the realm of the spirit, things function by, by the spiritual force, uh, I was wanting to ask that how can one I use rather spiritual Re energy. Yes, use spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. My concern is to be able to reduce the amount of sleep so that I can be able to <laughs> do my mission more effectively. <laughs> <laughs> you want to reduce spiritual energy or increase? Increase spiritual energy. Increase spiritual energy, okay. The way to increase the spiritual energy is not by reducing sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep is like I said, I already explained sleep, okay? But you can increase spiritual energy other ways. You just need to increase light. You just need to get infused and in tune and plug into sources of light. If you, if you people listen to my series on love, 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 love series. That is the greatest source of love, I mean, of light, because God Himself. So, if you notice that I spend a lot of time on that love series, and a lot of people, they said, they, when they are listening to some of those love series, they switch off the computer and say, No, I can't, I can't hear this again. Stop, stop, there's a stop, stop. Yeah, it's killing them, it's breaking them. If, yes, if you could go through the love series alone and condition yourself for the, to become flesh. That is why it says, that chapter, that's 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love doesn't do, love doesn't do. Love. If you could be able to convert that to become flesh, you become the container and reservoir of light. It's like now we have to go back. It's like now we have to go back to the series. Again? <laughs> with knowledge now, with understanding now. Because now it's like, now you... Oh. It's coming together. Now it's coming together, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, sir. It's me. Yes, sir. Thank you so yes, much. Thank you so much. God bless you. You are so... Uh, you are awesome. Oh. Honestly, there's something about you. When you were teaching, my eyes was open to understand sunshine, how it yes. functions. Yes. Taking water from the earth. Yes. That when you were teaching, that's what I was saying. See. I understood it. It takes up water, mm -hmm. bring down the rain, mm -hmm. the season, yeah. how it works, mm -hmm. made me to understand how God created this earth. Yep. The light. Is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, yeah. Doctor, <laughs> uh, I will say that I don't know anything about science. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not a worry at all. I've not had any teaching mm. from the primary school to about science. But I can boast today that her mother has <laughs> <laughs> No. And when you say that uh, professors are uh, comment, yeah. commenting about that, nobody should doubt you. Nobody can doubt it. Not only teaching, but though my profession is teaching, but this is science made simple. Yes. Science made simple. Even elementary school students 
will get it at the tip of their mm. finger. <laughs> it's mesmerizing. Wow. You are teaching. And not only that, that you are talking about science. It's just going to the Bible. We've been reading all this year. <laughs> to tell us that even science comes from the Bible. Yes. <laughs> Which nobody out there will believe. I don't know. I said, where God has packaged you and what you want to accomplish in your life. That's, though people, yourself, people are praying that you will not die. Some people, what they're praying is that you will not die until you empty out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everything Amen. that you have deposited Amen. in your life. Amen. 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 Like you are saying, say, if we go back there to God and you did not accomplish yes. or fulfill what we are sent here for. What we are yeah. sent for. But I don't know how many years it will take it to empty it. So then no matter the years that it will take, God will keep you until you finish. Amen. 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 God has brought you into this world to transform the world. Amen. Just, I don't know what to say. But we just want to bless God for your life. Yes. Mm. There's never anybody that's praying for that God bless you. That person is making a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know the, I don't know the kind of blessing you are praying for. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the sea of blessing. Yeah. You know? So what can you do about sea? You want to get water from the river to fool the sea? Mm. It's not possible. So it's a, just a sea of blessing. We thank God. I thank God that I came. And I know when I met you the first time, I just listened to one of your messages. That what draw me to that same, uh, this uh, conference. And after that, I said, I was crying when I messed up with uh, the internet uh, connections. But this time around, within that, uh, three months ago, I, I saw in the internet mm -hmm. and uh, come across your message again. I didn't know what I can do. I told my people, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The church, the work, the family can stay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I must see him. Mm -hmm. Because I know he has what it takes to mm -hmm. change a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I thank God for every one of us. Amen. Amen. We will never be the same again. I just thank you, sir. Thank you, Amen. I just feel led to say this, sir, because we're here and with everything we're experiencing, it's easy for us to um, to know why we're we're saying the things we're saying. But for those that are viewing from home or wherever in the world. Some people might be watching and thinking, so what's the difference between this and idol worshiping or your prison DSA? You preached a message yesterday where one of the first slides, we talked about how God has manifested himself through all his creation <laughs> to subdue the earth so that the glory can come back to him. So this is not about you DSA, but this is about the manifestation of God's creation of you. And us giving him back the glory. Amen. I just wanted Amen. to say Amen. that. Amen. Beautiful. I think for me, I'm very overwhelmed. 
and all my experiences and my encounter mm -hmm. takes my mind to a hymn that says, what shall I render to my God? Mm -hmm. For all his mercies stored, I will take the gift he has bestowed mm -hmm. and I will humbly ask for more. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, this was well understood and well put. I, it was explained to where the, at the level where even a, a baby can get it. And I, beside the Einstein theory, this would help me uh, understand um, the Bible or the passage much better now. I just want to thank you so very much for this uh, lesson tonight. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Thank, thank you so much, sir. One thing that uh, really encouraged me so much since I've been here is that um, you are making us feel that we can have it. We can that I'm not better than you. That we can have it. We are the same. That we can do it. You can, we can do it. Have it. We yeah. can have it. And this really, this, this, this really encourages my heart. Mm. And um, when my sister asked you a question, and the answer you gave, making us to know that um, it is the thing that we are entangled with in this world that is limiting us. Mm. That if we can create the right environment for ourselves and disconnect ourselves, mm. we can have what we are supposed to have. Mm. Thank you so much, sir, mm. for making it so simple and easy for us. Mm. Thank you. Ah, he's now explaining why solitude. <laughs> solitude is one of the greatest things that could happen to you. Yes. If you fix solitude, you just, you took care of that. You took care of Uncle Sam, you took care of a lot of things. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. First of all, I just want to thank you very much. But what I want to say right now, I want to Direct it to the, those that are watching us in YouTube, in online, yes, and internet. Uh, when you go to the Bible, God gave Solomon wisdom and riches. The, his friend was just going around, but the queen of uh, Sheba said, yeah. okay. let me go and see. Many people have this wisdom. I have that wisdom, but let me go and see. When the queen reached there, that is what is happening to us today. Mm, yeah. I left him and said, let me go and see that wisdom. So, wherever you are watching, please, eh, just be queen, uh, queen of Sheba. Come over here and receive your own wisdom. You will be amazed. Yes. Eh, it's not just to listen and say what is going on. Come and see. Come and receive. Come and refill yourself. As you do, God bless you. In Jesus' name. Maria. I think Maria just actually, it just hit me now. That is a spiritual truth that was buried in that story. That is the relevance of what Queen of Sheba, the action she took, was the fact that when you hear and you can tell this is truth that you are seeing, that you are hearing, it should encourage you owe it to yourself to go and seek it out first and confirm whether it is what it says it is because it's no longer just what you are hearing and yeah, yeah, by the observation yeah, yeah. of the things you can now come to your logical conclusion because by the time she left she was convinced yes that is the principle in that story yes thank you sister maria yes. i know what's your we have five two five minutes only i know and success what are your contributions wow. from tonight I know he's in front now. <laughs> wow, DSC. <laughs> you know, when you were teaching, I, I was there and I said, I said, DSC. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know, I understood the frustration and the burden 
that was in the heart of Jesus when he was with his disciples. Mm. And he saw how they were living mm. for survival, mm. looking for food to eat, mm. looking for clothes to wear, and, that, and they placed that as the priority for life. Ah, I could just picture Jesus saying, but I'm trying to model to you guys. And then he asked them a question that come, is life no more than this? Mm. 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 Is life no more than food mm. to eat, mm. clothes mm. to wear, mm. and all of that? Mm. Now, I always say that so my, test, my life story is like the, the, um, the parable of the man that found a treasure and sold everything he had. Wow. Mm. That's exactly what I deal with. Mm. When I found truth with, DS, with DSC. And that's why I was saying earlier that hate him. Do everything you want to do against him. Mm. No problem. But please. Ah. Listen to him. Listen to him because what God has helped him <laughs> to understand and to be able to communicate. Oh. I, don't know the, I don't know who has it. For the past maybe 300 years and even for the next 300 years or even more, we be able to communicate these thoughts. I began to underst understand as he was teaching on, the, on speed and conversion a lot of things, how God works, who is God, what is life? Why am I here? A lot of questions, a lot of light bulb moving happened to me. And it just, it's just a time for sober reflection for me to go back and to, to listen to this teaching and to just go over it again and again and again and again and again, and again until these things become my reality, becomes my flesh where I'm not just speaking it, but it becomes my reality. I begin to function from that realm. So, I mean, f with a grateful heart, mm -hmm. I'm having a reminiscence of the first time I spoke like this to DSA, HMT 2016. Mm -hmm. And I came and I was saying, DSA, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, because who you are, and what you've been able to release mm. thus far to the world. Mm. If today you are converted into the invisible realm, mm. you have done more than enough mm. good for the world. Mm. Mm. With what you have released, the world can never remain the same. Mm -hmm. And notice I'm not saying Christianity will never, but mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Because the things you've thought are not just limited to religion. But there are things that define life, mm. define God, and you're demystifying all of the things that we thought or that we've, been, we've believed to be mysterious. So, dear, say thank you so much, and all the glory goes to God. Yes. Thank you so much, dear, say. I think my own reaction will be that every time I listen to you, it creates a new level of hunger inside of me. Yes. I just want to know more of God. It creates mm. this desire for God, this mm. inner test. And I will also reflect back to the first time I came for HMT and I listened to you and this um, atmosphere, this hunger, this test that when I left this place that day, I just went into solitude straight, got all the books, all the messages I could, and just locked the word out. out. I just didn't want, didn't want to listen to any other thing, just want to listen and listen and listen again. And uh, for me also, I wanted to catch up with the years that I'd lost also to format because we have been filled with so much jargons, with so much nonsense over the years with so much that even when you read the Bible, it, it, at that time I told myself that this is not about reading the Bible. Mm. Because 
It's about what do you see when you even read, read these things. The, the, my world view, my perspective had been, had been destroyed. So I needed a new perspective. So that every time I read the Bible, the Bible would make Amen. meaning to me. So I needed, I wanted to, I used all of those resources and materials again and again and again. I bought myself an headset at that time. Everywhere I was going, traveling public, I was, my hair were always plugged up because I wanted to the engineer my brain. So thank you for always recreating inside of me this hunger that just wants to know, that just wants to, I, I always say that every time I listen to you, I'm always wondering when will this <laughs> thing ever finish? When will it, is there going to ever be a day that you feel that, oh, DSA has, he has yeah. said this before, and we have heard it again and again. <laughs> but, but it's just always fresh, like a, a, a new punch and like you said, you are always evolving, and we are watching that. We are, we are seeing that. We see how you constantly, every day, pay the price mm -hmm. to be new, to be better than you were the previous days and the previous years. And that is a huge hunger for me as an individual because I want to grow, I want to learn, I want to be able to be you a see blessing. How hope is being given birth to, right? Yes. Can you see hope? So I, I want to be a blessing to my own world too. I want to be this box of light, of nuclear light, that anyone that comes in contact with me, comes in contact with God, is able to touch God, become God palpable Amen. to my world. So um, thank you so much for demonstrating this level of consciousness, because I understand that it takes a whole lot of consciousness. You pay a lot of price to deliver all of these things and we we acknowledge that and we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, you Jesse. Uh you know all through anthropology thoroughly Nigerian. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all through anthropology, the goal of man has been to get better. How do we become better? And there's no end to that because there's no end to getting to know about God. Uh, you know, the beauty of what you've explained today uh, is that it proves beyond doubt. It proves beyond um, reasonable doubt. Anyone who would be doubting now has to be someone who has intentionally suspended the use of brain. <laughs> or, or really someone who's got some some stuff going up upstairs and we may have to treat that first before we get him to sit down and listen again uh but yes well yeah, yes what i'm getting to sir that you've been able to prove the whole essence of why man is on earth hmm, the whole that's essence good. that is so good. of why good man point. had to come to the as earth. a job Hmm. on earth hmm. not just why but what exactly is that job hmm. Hmm. you know the whole essence of depression comes from frustration hmm. and frustration hmm. comes hmm. from uh not meeting up hmm. with what you ought to do yes. not meeting up with what you ought to do is in two ways the first is not even knowing what you ought to do the second is knowing and then not knowing how to get there yes. So you can understand the dilemma, or sometimes trilemma, many times multilemma, that man has to lemma. For me, for me, what the teaching has done is to take me back to creation, because there are two creations. Mm -hmm. The first was be, uh, when God created in the, or probably three, or even maybe more that mm -hmm. I do not understand. But the first that's recorded in the Bible was in the beginning, God created. The second was the coming of Christ. So what happened in the beginning, God created, you had, you had explained the spirit moved and then light came. And uh, I remember that in John, the Bible says the life was in him. And that life, was the light, the light of, of the world. Mm. That life, that life is a light of men. That life is a light of men. 
I go to Proverbs, I go to verse eight, uh, chapter 8, and I see that the same guy, wisdom, has been brought up with him from the beginning. So I know that he's always been there. Now, yes, where I'm coming to, sir, that when you were, what you were explaining about light and death, and then probably uh, vis a vis uh, talking about sin, if we remember that the first thing sin did was to kill man. How? Mm -hmm. Now, one has to find out that what is death. Death is the absence of life. The life was in him. And the life was the light of man. man. So when there's an absence of life, it means there's an absence of what? Life. Mm -hmm. So it means the moment Adam sinned and the Adamic nature became a part of man, light was basically taken out of the human existence. That is why... Before Christ came, every man was veiled. I can't remember exactly how Paul put it, but he was talking about the veiling. Yes. The, yeah, he says only, only in Christ is the veil. Is the veil removed? Because the veil brings darkness, and that darkness had become an inherent part of man because the life that was meant to be the light had been separated, had been taken away. So for me, one thing you proved is my theory. Many may not agree, but that's my theory. I believe that the most important part of Jesus' existence or life or coming here was not to come and die, yeah. but rather to come and live. Yes, 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 yes. Because he could have died without you knowing. As a matter of fact, the Bible was recorded that the lamb was slain from the beginning of the world. Before the foundation of the world. So his death, he, you didn't need to know about it. But there was something we needed to know. Because we did not know how to be carrier of the light. We never knew that. Because the first guy who ever carried it lost it. And since then, all we've known was to live a life that has been veiled. So the second guy who is coming with this light, in whom the life was... And that life, for everyone who received the life, that light is now light. a part of him. Yeah. So now, before God can give you that light again, he needed to teach you how to use the light. So the only way you would know it is if the one who carries the light ever lives an exemplary life. Yes. That he lives and you can see that, oh, he went about doing good. Yes. That you can see that he had compassion. Yes. That you can see that he loved. Oh. That you can see that he had mercy. Yes. That you can see that he was patient. Yes. That you can see that these things you call the fruit of the spirit, yes. they are tangible. No. Why? Because there is light in him. Yes. And why was this absent in the life of those who were before him? Because there was no light in them. So, not to talk too much. <laughs> So I don't get verbose, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the summary becomes that the whole idea of human existence is to be like God. Because that was the purpose of God creating him in the first place. But how can man be like God if he cannot see? So mm. that light becomes a very important component mm. right on, sir. for human life mm. and for his journey on earth. Because mm. the purpose is for him to be like God. Not, not, not to be, uh, not, not to do like God. Don't get it wrong. Yeah, not to do. do like God. Yeah, be. To be yeah, so. like God. So that for every day that you see bro Chris, you see God. Yeah. For every day that I see you, I see God. Yeah. Every day you shake hands with me, you realize I just shook hands with destiny. Because God is in me. So I don't know how much you can create. I don't know how much you can create. I don't know how much you will create. But the idea is that once we get the life of Christ and we have the light of Christ, then we 
undergo the metamorphosis. <laughs> we become as is. Thank you so much, Jesse. God bless you. My, 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 people are writing that they need you to be speaking, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So maybe not tonight, but just in general, just for you to know that. And I hope you got the people wanted to for books to be sent through. People who are here to them as well. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. Let's celebrate, you Pastor. You tomorrow. Thank you, Jesse. Please. All right, guys. I'm sure you can feel the excitement here. We're excited here. There's so much energy here, so much light here. Uh, please, I have some announcements. Uh, from the 5th, that's some yesterday, or let's say from today, to the 11th of this month, uh, there is the HMT promo for Dr. Sunday's books, all right? So all of Dr. Sunday's books will be sold at $10 from the 5th to the 11th. So for you to um, cash in, in this promo, uh, please go to sundayadelajablog.com slash books. So sundayadelajablog.com slash books. Now this price is less than what you find um, definitely on Amazon. So this is a discounted price for all of Dr. Sunday's books. So if you go to sundayadelajablog.com slash books, you would be able to, uh, you see a form there that you can fill. And also, if you are interested in the January HMT that will be happening from the 2nd to the 7th, uh, you could go to sundayadelajablog.com forward slash HMT. I repeat, sundayadelajablog forward slash HMT. You're going to see a form there that you can fill for the HMT. Well, we have a lot more to do here. While you guys go to sleep, we would keep working here. All right, so let's say... A hearty and amazing bye to our viewers on Facebook and YouTube. Bye. Bye.